the drum alone. What is life? <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone out there? Are we uh, are we alive? Yes, we are. Um, it must be Thursday afternoon, evening. Yeah, it's time for everyone. Uh, something about the way the earth is round, uh, allegedly. I would like to welcome you back to MDM Twitter, <laughs> Twitch, shit. <laughs> Uh, where we are playing two rivers. Um, it's going to be a fun session today, I think. We're all a little lively, a little, uh, a little uh, snappy today. Um, how is everybody doing? Grant, how are you? Jim Davis. In this world, there are a lot of great role players, but here in the land between two rivers, I am the showstopper, the headliner, the main event, the icon. I'm a lean green goblin machine, and tonight we're going to bring the house down. I'm doing great, and I'm here to kick butt and take names. I got nothing else. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fizzled out there. Sometimes uh, short and sweet. Uh, excellent. <laughs> how are you? I'm excited to play tonight. <laughs> yes. I am doing super spiffy. I am excited to be here. The whole gang's back. And I'm ready to play Mar Valentine, who is just a very nice, charming tiefling bard with absolutely no ulterior motives or any nefarious goals that she could possibly have. She just has the party's best interest at heart. And I'm really excited to see where we go. What happens with that today? Excellent, excellent. I'm excited to see where that goes as well. Um, I don't know why anybody would think Murr is anything other than just a sweetheart. Yes. Uh, <laughs> TK, how are you? <laughs> it's me. It's TK. Um, I'm doing good. Very excited. Didn't bring my regular dice in today again. Uh, gonna use dice roller on the uh, Dungeons and Dragons app. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> that, I'm doing well. My <laughs> life is in shambles, but I'm doing great. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad that you're here. And Thanks. Uh, let's play some D&D together. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, welcome back. Hello. Thank you. I've missed you guys. Uh, Comic-Con was lit, but I mean, you guys are way cooler. So whatever. Thank you. We're, we're litter. Together. I've lost my dice. Never mind. I found them. Oh. My table is very messy. Sponsored by Table Tablet. You got it, right? You got our sponsor. Anyway, hello. Yes. I'm Anna. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Ellie, a human barbarian, a very rare human barbarian. And that's it. I don't know what went down yesterday, or I mean last week, <laughs> but I'm sure shenanigans happened. Yeah, there were, there were shenanigans uh, both in progress and getting set up. Um, <laughs> that's great. Uh, and Josh, coming from some frozen bunker somewhere, how are you? Uh, yeah, it's four hours north than where I was before, so it's colder. Um, I'm pretty good. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty good. Very glad to uh, to be here, and I think I can see my eyes tonight, guys. Hold on, there we go. Yeah, glare is fun. I'm good, and I can't wait to play Blue. I think Blue is going to get crazier, just as as every every episode Blue's going to get nutter. So you guys uh, enjoy that. Well, yeah, I, yeah, he something's going on with Baloo uh, out there as he's digging his burrow. <clears throat> but before we get into all of that and see what sort of uh, shenanigans our, uh, our, our players are going to get up to, I would like to give a big shout out to Tabletop Loot, who, as Anna mentioned, is sponsor of the show. Uh, maybe earlier this week, you, uh, you got in on a little uh, special discount day. That was a one day only thing. Uh, we're back to our regular uh, promo code uh, discount there. So go ahead and check them out for all the dice that you need feed that collection that you know you have you can't stop buying dice can you one set should be enough no but somehow you find yourself buying more what if that set misbehaves what, what if, if misbehaves? you have a different character what if it misbehaves? well if it does misbehave tabletop blues has a dice jail for it <laughs> all your dice needs truly you could be found at tabletop blues <laughs> i need like a million of those i know it's a I need them dice for sure. prison industrial complex over here at <laughs> dm and tabletop blue speaking of prisoners. Last week on Land Between Two, the uh, party engaged in a uh, spirited ethical debate over uh, audio control on my end. 
There we go. Last week on Lamb Choo Rivers, our uh, party had a bit of a spirited ethical debate involving the survivors, the surviving servitors of the Pyramid of Ling. Um, some of the party members recommended they uh, sort of be let to their own devices or perhaps uh, you know get to choose their fate. Others were willing to enlist them in a kind of uh, voluntary uh, <laughs> job training and uh, workforce program. Some of the servitors followed Gildan out into the desert on a great hunt, and those that survived uh, shared a vision uh, of, of uh, Gildan's wise woman of the wastes. Others of the servitors uh, went their own ways, and some of them took the fellowship up on their offer to settle within their lands on their own independent commune. And then the party had a period of downtime where they got to pursue some of their own ends and uh, devices and projects that they have. Blue going off into the desert to spend some time in the earth with earth creatures and uh, decided then to dig his own burrow uh, just east of the fellowship uh, controlled lands. Gildan, of course, leading a great hunt out into the yellow wastes to the west. Um, Murr and Icky stayed in Trade Town uh, to help supervise the rebuilding of Trade Town as well as sort of just keep an eye on things. And I believe Icky sort of was uh, basking a bit maybe in her newfound popularity uh, that uh, Ellie also shares in as both Icky and Ellie find themselves in, held in high esteem by the members of Trade Town for their actions in liberating it. Um, we left off. Myrrh had experienced a series of disturbing events, a nightmare in which she was pursued by stone serpents through a blizzard. And one of her clients, not answering a call and seemingly breaking off contact with her, right around the time that Mur realizes that a certain group of individuals she contracted with are late in arriving with their uh, precious cargo. I believe Gildan is one day out from Trade Town and has sent a herald of some kind or, or news of Gildan's imminent arrival is about to reach uh, or is reaching Trade Town. Um, he'll be there within the day and Icky and Baloo are off in Baloo's dugout um, awaiting whatever it is that they await. So that's where we'll pick it up today. I'm curious about something. Curious. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm like I know that we 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 kind of left off with Gildan. You're, you're coming in. You said you were going to arrive like Aladdin. Hey. <laughs> Make way for Prince Ali. Yeah. No. Gildan's here. Everyone fear. He's a crazy goblin. Maybe like that. <laughs> Still, I think he's rather tasty. <laughs> this this week sponsored by Disney. I apologize for that. It's okay. uh, <laughs> so yeah, do you do you have questions kind of about my fanfare? I'm coming in. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're with fourteen of the surviving servitors. There were thirty-ish yes. that had. Uh, had gone with you, 14 survivors of the Great Hunt. So give me an idea of, of, of what this procession looks like as you're traveling out of Yellow Wastes in towards Trade Town. All right, so uh, directly in front of us, we got like a little one of these. I'm actually gonna send you a, a, a picture of it. So uh, this is what sort of leads the way. This is kind of our herald that travels uh, in front of us. I'll give it to you in uh, the, the Twitch chat. Um, as my alarm on my phone goes off, I must be on a show now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, whoops. Uh, yeah. So that that that's leading the way. I've I've animated that. I've cast my secret uh, to do that, and mm -hmm. it's kind of you know shambling and you know uh, letting everyone know that we're on our way. And I'll send it so the rest of the group can see it. Um, yeah, and it's kind of made out of uh, odds and ends and bits and pieces. Um, so it is a very tiny animated uh, hag servant, uh, Haggle the Hag, 
and uh, she leads the way. Um, and so Haggle the Hag uh, is leading uh, into town, uh, singing singing the songs of uh, the wise woman. The servitors um, are marching in formation. We've kind of taught them uh, a war dance, like a, a almost like a uh, a ceremonial kind of like a haka, but uh, less Maori and more Tongan. You know, it's a little more a uh, little more aggressive, uh, more rather than a, a display of emotion and a ch issuing a challenge. It means we are ready for war. Um, but our war is not a physical one. It is a spiritual one. So like, yeah, we're, we're coming in in force with our hooting and hollering and our chanting. And since the servitors don't really get tired, you know, think of this, this is like Achilles and his Myrmidon. And I am in uh, full, full uh, garb, you know, and I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm leading the way outside of Haggle the Hag. Uh, she kind of leads and announces that we're coming. But I'm in, I'm in the front, and then I have my entourage uh, behind me. The the Gildenites. The Gildenites. The Gildenites. That yeah. that is their tribe. The tribe of Gildenites. Gildenites. Oh, yeah. Gilden and the Gildenites. So, you travel at least. There's at least a day's worth of travel between when you enter mm -hmm. the, the Fellowship territory and, and get to Trade Town. Little scattered villages uh, and and hamlets uh, of you know, simple salt of the earth type folk mm. uh give me a give an example of what it's like when the gildenites travel through one of these little hamlets on their way towards trade town all right so the first thing we do when we arrive at a hamlet um we we try to find out who's in charge and ascertain if there's any law um if there is no law uh we offer to uh uh pronounce the first law of their hamlet and uh gilden uh scribes down their first law and, and uh the first law is uh honor honor the waste so um they must take care of the land where they're at uh then what we do is uh we we offer to do a show that night and we explain to them uh their creation myth and the origin of servitors explain from pink goop we come and pink goop we return um and we talk about how there is a great pyramid out there uh, which is the emblem of our people. Um, and then uh, we continue marching, but we also try to see if there's uh, uh, any, uh, we try to make uh, ourselves useful while we're there. And uh, each servitor tries to find one good deed to do while they're in town. That way they all leave with a good impression. Um, and then we continue our war dance through the waste. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, there's, a, there's a, I mean, once you get into like fellowship territory, they all respond with like, well, they, you know, they, they follow the fellowship's uh, customs here, but those customs are rather, uh, it's really only like three rules they have. Uh, mm -hmm. And there are people who are curious and certainly if, if you're, you know, you're not coming through as uh, uh, marauders or something like that no not at all we're the opposite <laughs> of marauders we're we're uh, do-gooders we're philanthropists those uh hamlets south of uh of uh trade town suffered less under the servitors uh invasion and so they have less sort of a bias or prejudice against them. um and, but you know at the same time they also give you uh, nobody's like signing up to uh to, to join on or anything like that they just sort of let you pass through on the way to uh, Trade Town. Mm, but are there any young, impressionable minds? We can Pied Piper these people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or are you? Uh, <laughs> so uh, that is where uh, that, that's sort of the day before as, as Gildan's arriving towards, uh, arriving towards Trade Town. How about on the opposite side? Zoom over Trade Town, go out east up the uh, up the Hound River to where Baloo is working on his new abode, and uh, Icky is uh, is what are you guys up to? Hmm. I've, today I've turned into a giant worm. 
and I am attempting to wiggle my way through a new tunnel. I'm trying to make a trying to make a latrine. It's taking it. I'm taking my time with it though. I can poop outside for the most part. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Baloo's doing that. <laughs> yes. What's Icky doing? I don't. I don't know if Icky's like a super good. Um, Icky's probably not a great house flipper, and I bet that she's now spent enough time with Baloo to like know his moods and know his preferred animal shapes depending on like how he's feeling and stuff. And mm -hmm. she's probably she's probably. What is wrong today? Uh, and I, I wiggle in the shape of nothing. <laughs> and she like will like poke him and be like, "There are no bones today." <laughs> um, I will, I will nudge you with my tail, and by tail I mean body. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of all tail. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be a a, a, a bubble butt. Bump. <laughs> and uh, and then try to try to start working my way backwards. I've I've worked enough today. Okay. I will, I will join you in regular form. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess as soon as he he transforms, she'll just say like, uh, "Do you do you want to go to the market?" Sure. Is that is that good, sure? Mer says there are many shares. Uh, it's it's a it's a decent share. I'm acquiescing. We'll go. Yeah, Icky Icky just <laughs> takes him at his word after that, and it's like, all right, I have packed us lunch. Let's go. Okay. And it's like, <laughs> offers a hand for him to get up. She's really kind of like. She's trying to be more compassionate towards people. She's becoming more domesticated, but she's also kind of like, like, are we gonna mope all day? Like, is this gonna be a thing that we're still doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, no, he he um, uh, uh, Baloo puts on his darkest cloak, just so that he looks particularly emo, and um, and then yeah, uh, he'll he'll he's ready to leave at that point. Okay. Yeah, whenever he's putting on his cloak, she'll like she'll do kind of a mom thing and like pick out like brambles from like his bugbear fur, which is probably pretty unkempt by now. Oh, absolutely. She just like silent like pokes it out, like flats his hair a little and is yes, you look we'll go, we'll go. Good. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Icky and Baloo set back uh, yeah. to go to, uh, to Trade Town. You guys are going to uh, arrive a little later uh, than Gildan will, so Gildan will have gotten there before uh, Icky and Baloo do. Meanwhile, Trade Town proper. Uh, first off, uh, because Anna uh, wasn't here last week, let's give, uh, let's give a chance to kind of... You had 90 days of downtime. Uh, everyone in the group kind of not necessarily went their separate ways, uh, but like I said, Gildan went out in the desert for 90 days. As he does. Bug out, as he does. But Icky and uh, Murr stuck around Trade Town to help with the rebuilding. Uh, so the questions I had for your downtime mm -hmm. were, would you have helped with the rebuilding? Uh, and then did you have any kind of projects or, or something that you would, that Ellie would want to pursue for, uh, for 90 days? Yeah, so um, in those 90 days, Ellie definitely helped out uh, rebuilding Trade Town. You know, she's very tall and very strong, so, you know, she got, like, up on the roofs and stuff. Well, you know, she did the, the strong work, the muscle, the, her muscle BBs. Um, and then in her other, more, I guess, more downtime slash hobbies, she started sharpening her axe and then kind of daydreaming, as she does, um, she noticed she totally messed up the shape of her ex. And now it's starting to kind of look, some might say heart shaped. Oh. So as she's doing this, uh, she looked down, she's like, oh no, I've, I've messed this up. My, my 
my one and only beautiful ex. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And she kind of just looks around, and then she actually looks at it, and she's like, hmm. And she like turns it, and then she sees a heart. Uh-huh. Okay, this this is nice. I I think I'm gonna continue with this. And then she really gets into it, and she starts kind of like designing little details on the actual, um, like the wooden part of her axe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so she draws like a little bit like flowers and little hearts, and some might say it's kawaii as fuck. But I, I mean, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's it's real cute. Like, if she had some paint, she would totally paint that, like pink or something. Oh yeah, more would more would give you the paint. Yeah, there's paint. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Paints and dyes and all sorts yeah. of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh well, well then. You got ninety days, right? Like. Oh yeah. That's, this is true. This is true. Is it? Yeah. Is it like heart shaped, like, like when you when the haft is in the ground, it's a heart, or is it like an upside down heart? It's so. If you were, how do I draw this? Hmm. I, do I have paper? Uh. Well, I don't have paper. Do those bad men? Oh wait, no, I do. I have a journal. I will draw it real quick for you. Excellent. <laughs> Yay! I'm imagining it like a key blade. But like kind of here so <laughs> welcome to anna ross drawing there we go stuff. yeah all right so think of it i don't have like paper either this sorry i'm not like the best artist in the world <laughs> and then kind of kind of like this i don't know if you can see that at all oh yeah okay yeah. Yeah. there we go mm-hmm. okay so yeah. it's and then just like little designs like on the thing and blah 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 blah. Yeah. This is like sort of gotten a natural that's, marker. That's really it looks cute. I'll work on it. Mm-hmm. And then I'll post it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Ellie finds that the residents of Trade Town hold her in high esteem. Uh, Icky as well. And and for those uh, that period of time like immediately after the big battle and and, and the kind of uh, fallout from it uh wherever ellie goes in trade town there's someone who pats her on the shoulder and and and, you know offers her something to drink or you know your your actions there uh in liberating the uh the market square and kind of helping things out people noticed and Mm -hmm. uh and they they kind of uh like i said everybody's (laughs) have this sort of esteem but especially ellie and they be there Hey, do they still look at me weird? Or it's I mean, more like a thank you. It's it's less of like a ooh and more of like a oh she's our human now. <laughs> you know? Our pet human. Yes. Oh. <laughs> like, like like a mascot. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a mascot, sure. Mm-hmm. Um and and so that's uh the, the ninety days passes. I remind everyone. Yes. We are now in the summer in the land between two rivers, the hot period when the unseen eye of the dying orc god casts its gaze across the land, bathing everything in a deep crimson light that anyone without fire resistance finds utterly intolerable. While in direct sunlight and uncovered, everyone takes damage as if they were a vampire, as well as uh, taking the disadvantage to attacks and checks when in direct sunlight. Consequently, most people don't go out in the day. Uh, or if they do, it's behind multiple layers of parasol or umbrella, which is sufficient protection. Hmm. This is the con- condition under which Gildan and his uh, servitors are making their way towards Trade Town. And Icky and Baloo are traveling as well. Um, most people, uh, you know, play it safe during the day, uh, hide out wait out the burst of the heat and then move as quickly as they can through the night uh, to avoid predators and get where it is they're going. You're close enough to the borders of the fellowship that most large predators and the like will not want to uh, crack this egg. Um, But out in the wastes, it's uh, a much different story. Myrrh. You had, last night was yes. a tough night. <laughs> yes. 
I have my notes. Mur is going to be bitchy today because she slept shitty. That's my last note in my notebook. <laughs> and so it is morning on the day that Gildan will arrive. Which, uh, which does not add to the mood. I just not add to the mood. <laughs> we have a song prepared. <laughs> oh, of course. I am sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> there is a um, I, Grant roll me a D four. Oh no! Like mm-hmm. up to this point, mer has been outside. Like she's been tanning, getting her her her. Hots, I can stand out in the middle of the day and y'all be left behind. So I just lay out a blanket, get some color. But today she's got like her veils on and she's got an extra silk scarf like kind of shading <laughs> her eyes and she's just like. I rolled a one. Okay. For your song. No, I. this oh, is uh, this is uh, when you'll arrive. It'll be soon. Oh. Oh dear. Yes, yes. We're gonna be within earshot. She's, first, she's gonna smell us, then she's gonna hear us. Yeah, so you have, oh. yeah, yeah. There's, a, you have an hour in trade town with them. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, guys. Good posture. We gotta give a good impression. <laughs> so These are reform servitors. Right. That's they true. Are. That's true. <laughs> We're gonna uh, perform putting on the Ritz tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so for uh, for Mer, we wake up in this mood. Uh, what is uh, what's Mercury the first time wakes up? Well, she's in a hellish mood. Um, huh. <laughs> yeah, it's just awful. So she does her like her everyday routine, and nor she's been in a great mood this whole summer. But today, uh, I I think I like to think Mer has kept like I guess it's like a guest room open in her house for Ellie. So like if Ellie doesn't want to stay wherever she's been staying at the hotel, she can always come up to Mer's house. And. Uh, She's just kind of like, ugh. She's just grumpy. She, everything she does is more like, like exaggerated. Like when you have a bad day and you're just like, oh, and you just open the jars and you throw the water bottle cap and whatever. Like that's that's her. And she just goes out to the market to do her normal, uh, uh, what's the word? Not servitor duties or warden duties. She's just kind of giving everyone like the evil eye. Like she's smiling. But it's not like a oh like the like the friendly smile that it has, but it's kind of like a like yes. Like I'll kill you. I'm Try just to- waiting for <laughs> someone to fuck up, and then I can take all this out on them. <laughs> oh. Like the angry manager smile. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're very familiar. <laughs> Used to give it. <laughs> yeah, I think Ellie would probably be eating some bugs in the morning like for breakfast she mm-hmm. went and she she'll probably run into you and she'll notice your face uh but she'll think you're just really happy because she doesn't know what the weird evil eyes manager eyes yeah are <laughs> uh Mer, you're looking very nice today um do you want some breakfast and she puts out her hand and there's like a bunch of bugs there might be one or two kind of still alive thank you ellie i yes <laughs> she just grabs a live one and just bites its head off <laughs> <laughs> they're they're my favorite <coughs> for breakfast uh i brought some for icky too have you seen her no i have not seen her today so far she's probably over at a loose house Mm-hmm. Probably. Also, why are your eyes weird? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I had a fantastic night's sleep last night. I'm very well rested. And just, I'm not like, the left one's kind of twitching. <laughs> Is What's that... uh, Mer's passive perception? Oh, her passive perception? Oh, her wisdom's actually it's 11! Okay. It's not great. Is that the thing you say, uh, what is that word you use a lot? Some Sarcastic? Oh, you're such a fast learner, Ellie. I, perhaps I... Just gonna... Take a breath. She's gonna... Open her eyes, try to look a little friendlier. It may not come off that way at all. Um, 
Yes, Ellie, I did not have a very good night's rest, which is quite unusual for me. But I am doing, I am just making the best of it. It's, it's Gildan's supposed to return today. Maybe we'll be lucky and it will not cause calamity. Well, maybe like the last can... time I came to town. <laughs> right. I know have... what happened the last time you came to town. So let your here. anger out. You know? I do that sometimes. That's, that's how Ellie stays so happy. <laughs> that is, that's she funny. rages every now and then. Yep. Facts. <laughs> maybe I will rip someone's head off, but later. You know, I just I don't feel anyone is quite deserving of it as of now. Well, okay, and then she hands you, like, a bigger bug that's still alive. Maybe you could chop this one's head off. She's gonna be like, oh, I know this time. She's just gonna sit there, she's gonna pull all the legs off. Oh god. One by one. <laughs> and then kind of, like, watch it for a minute, and then, like, kind of be like, oh, that, that felt a little better, and then, and then take a bite. Also, you have a little oh. something. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I feel a little better after that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find Icky and give her, and she pulls out, like, a huge bag of, like, all alive, um, insects. Mm-hmm. Give her some breakfast, um... I, I would look towards Baloo's house. It is always lovely seeing you, Ellie. I am going to stay here in case of Gildan. She, like, walks away, just waving. <laughs> so Ellie's gonna go meet, uh, uh, Icky and, uh, and Baloo on the road. Um, now it is still the early morning hours when when the heat uh, descends upon the land between two rivers. Morning kind of shifts to more like a four-ish period of activity right before sunrise, uh, and then for as long as people can stand it. So this is in the pre-dawnish hours. You can see the uh, the visible suns of the land uh, are just starting to break above the horizon. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. I am assuming that everyone here is prepared uh, for any sort of travel that they engage in. That means they have some sort of covering, hat, uh, and then as well as like a canopy, parasol, umbrella. Uh, I'll let you guys describe uh, kind of the survival gear that your characters have and uh, how they travel as well. Uh, so that's what Ellie's doing. She's gonna meet uh, in Blue on the road there and Murr is staying in trade town to uh, damage control. Damage control. Uh, yeah, Gildan's herald, which arrived sometime yesterday and has been marching around the market quarter. Oh, haggle. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and Burr's really first. attempted to just set it on fire. Yeah, it's, it's got some yeah. arguments. It's, it's very <laughs> willful. It's willful. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. I imagine she's just sitting there, like sipping a cup of hot tea, because you know she doesn't care, and just like, just, like glaring at it, watching it, it as it rocks around. The, we have a staring contest. Glares back with unblinking eyes. Dull's eyes. <laughs> it should have been like a little quint from Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Gildan's so coming. Girls is marching around. <laughs> I know. Announcing Gildan. Um, it's so great. There are people <laughs> who sort of arrived. <laughs> there are people who've arrived earlier, uh, who who tell sort of a, a, a very kind of like telephone version of this law that Gildan is proclaiming and, and some sort of new myth. Uh, so you, you catch the kind of uh, you know third hand version of that story. Uh, there in the. Uh, What's it sound like by the time it gets to us? The whale gave birth to us. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the whale! <laughs> oh man, my apostates. It's, yeah, it's like, um, you know, th- that uh, these warriors came out of the desert uh, aggressive and, and with these sort of like rhythmic uh, war dance <coughs> that, that had everyone scared. <laughs> everyone was fainting. Uh, and. <laughs> They proclaimed a new law, uh, which was to love the wastes, uh, which some people are are kind of confused by, um, and others. I don't blame them. (laughs) uh, And then they all started doing, they they started getting in everyone's business. It sounds like they they just, they're nosy maybe, and 
and just pushy uh, before they leave and then go on their way. Okay. Sounds like us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it isn't very long before the travelers coming up the southern roads uh, and crossing over the river uh, into Traytown by ferry start bringing tales that Gildan's arrival is imminent. And I mean, that's all to do like. Yeah, yeah. The the all servitor yellow waist family singers. Here they come. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the goblin of the waste. He is granting us his wisdom, making sure his friends stay chaste. He hath loosed the tangled brambles from his thorny whippy waist. The Gilded Knights are marching on. Goblins, goblins, we love goblins. Goblins, goblins, we love goblins. Goblins, goblins, we love goblins. The Gilded Knights are marching on. And then, like, we're coming in. The all serve the I'm <laughs> sorry. I have to come up with these on the spot. Yes. <laughs> no, I loved it. Murr is less than enthused. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just, they're just, they're not even, yeah. Here they come and you just hear the servitors and Haggle is, uh, she hears it in the distance. Do you hear the sweet singing, Sister Murr? Can I just grab the puppet by the throat? <laughs> <laughs> this is an aggressive action. My body is my own. Uh, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure that a tiny servant is fairly easy to just snatch up. Like, she's just, she's tiny been staring servants? at it for yeah. hours, and it's have been, like, talking. Have you seen their statistics? I have not, actually. What are, what kind of, is it, is it <laughs> a thing that Merc could fail with? Okay, this? so they're, t they're tiny, right? Um, yeah. they have really high dexterity. Um, they, they hit with damage, like, they get plus five to attack and hit for five points of bludgeoning damage. But they're uh, immune to poison and psychic damage. Then they're immune to being blinded, charmed, deafened, exhausted, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, or poisoned. And they have blind sight within 60 feet. So. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm Mer's going to need to make an attack roll against this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just, she's just sitting yeah. there. Oh, I hope she judo. And then just okay. grab, wants to grab it out by the throat. Cause it's, I'm trained it's, in Krav Maga. We're going to use our tabletop loot dice. Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, I rolled a natural 16 plus whatever. All right. So. You bested me this time. Yeah. Tries to <laughs> tries to get out of the way. Does not. murr has got the, the, the hag, uh, animated hag. Puppy. This is inappropriate touching. It's against my will. Can I just shove it in, like, a bag? <laughs> like. Um, but it's not long after that the, that the oh, music. Oh, I know. <laughs> And Gildan, Gildan's party. Now you, you guys arrive on the, uh, uh, I guess it'd be the left bank of the river, which is where the Berry Pyramid is. That's now all overgrown with um, with lush vegetation and under the control of uh, the Warden Ishtar and her um, sharp-eyed band of uh, of uh, fellow wardens. Um, so that is where Gildan arrives, and you'll have to either wait for a ferry, or if you have a means to get across the river yourself. Uh, he might, but this is a fairly wide river, isn't it? I think it's we've... fairly wide, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to wait for a ferry. Okay. Um, and it's a, uh... yeah, yeah. I I think uh, while we wait, um, I'm gonna ask Servitor One to lead us in in the communal community prayer. Mer, like, gets a fair, like, tries to persuade a fairy to come over there as quickly as possible Goblins so we don't have to hear cool. the singing. Goblins are good. Goblins are great. Goblins uh, are great. You know, it just kind of echoes. He's like, I am double. Thank you, Father Gildan. Thank you, Father Gildan. Do you want to hear this for the next <laughs> however long? Chosen Would of the Would you not hack. prefer for it to be out of your earshot? Hmm. No, he's just mad. <laughs> um, you cast your mood onto him. Um, a ferry starts to arrive to, to bring uh, the Gildanites across the river. Come, Gildanites. <laughs> uh, as I cast Water Walk and we walk anyways past the ferry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, while all this is going on, Ellie <laughs> and uh, Icky and Baloo uh, meet on the road uh, just east of uh, Trade Town. 
Give me an idea of how you guys travel uh, and uh, you guys will meet up pretty soon. So you guys are just... Uh, so I, the question I guess I have is how... Is I Icky, are you you're not able to take anyone with you because of your burrowing ability, right? That's just like when you're traveling solo. Yes, that is that is the case. I can't really because it, it's kind of like yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, if she if she travels solo, she'll burrow. But otherwise, I, I imagine Baloo's got like a little out, out there. Mm -hmm. Did we lose Icky? No. No. She burrows underground. You so I imagine. There. Oh, she's back. There's to get. Yeah, sorry. My internet is crazy. <laughs> no worries. Very good. What were we saying about uh, Baloo? Baloo is what? Baloo is. Uh... One sec. My Zoom is like all freaking out. <laughs> Uh, all right. We'll come back to you. Let team. me try it. Right. We'll come back stuff. to you. Yeah, I'm how sorry. Does, <laughs> that's all right. How does uh, how does Baloo uh, make his way across uh, the wastes there? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. There's no there's no endure elements, um, and so he probably has to just bury himself under a nice blanket. Or uh, maybe uh, or two. As yeah. a druid, can he change the weather? Not not until like you know, I can cast like fifth or sixth oh, level spells. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I think there are things you can do to give yourself, like temporary relief uh, and the like. But Fog it's not around yourself. <laughs> it's a, it, it, it hasn't gotten bad yet. <laughs> Still a couple hours away from when you'll need to seek uh, seek shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be in trade town by the time uh, by the time that happens. Okay. Uh, but it's not, you know, like you said, Baloo's uh, dugout isn't that far away from uh, Fellowship Lands. Mm -hmm. So it isn't too long before you run into Ellie here on the road. Yay, Ellie! Hello! Good morning. It's still morning, right? Mm. It's early morning now. Yeah. Yes, the invisible sun is not, not out yet, so it is still it's still morning. Well, I have a bag of bugs for you if you want. I do, thank you. They're they're great in nutrition things. Mm-hmm. Mer told me. Uh, we, and uh, yeah. Exactly. We must seek what the earth offers and eat it. Um yeah. So, uh, how you been? Uh, pretty good. Look what I made. And she shows you her axe that's like pink, purples, like little hearts and like cuteness. This is a beautiful axe. Right. That's have you, hit, have you hit anyone with it yet? No. I'm hmm. waiting for the perfect moment. Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find it. I mean, maybe we can, you know, dig up some trouble. Is there trouble on the ground? No. No. Oh! <laughs> mm, no. That's a metaphor, Ellie. Uh, meta what? You'll learn. I'll teach you. Let's talk oh. metaphors as we walk. Yeah, as we do. As we and do. Ellie will slowly understand and get the concept of it. Hmm. <laughs> Good. I'm teaching you well. Um, have you seen, um, I don't know, have you heard from, uh, you know, anybody coming into town? I, I saw Mer earlier today. Hmm, okay. Yeah, no. I was going to go see her when I got into town. Nobody else? Nobody else came into town yet? Not that I know of. All right. Okay. Cool. Hi, do you know anything? No, just, uh, just, on you know. the ground? Nope. 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 Ouch. My head, my head burns. Why are you uh, acting weird? I'm not acting weird at all. Let's go. I'll teach you about, uh, similes. I don't know what that is, but learning is fun. Mm-hmm. Learning is fun. You are like a sponge absorbing information. That's a simile. Mm, 
Yes. <laughs> Baloo is giving Ellie a lesson in sort of like idioms and, and other sort of <laughs> Um As you make your way along, Iggy's uh, somewhere, you know, I think he knows how to make her way uh, here in the waste. Mm -hmm. And from Trade Town, as the suns start to kind of peep over the horizon and, and those first sort of scorching uh, rays cast long shadows across the landscape, uh, you see the walls and pavilions of Trade Town and hear sort of the, uh, the hustle and bustle of activity there. Um, kind of hit fast forward a little bit how does uh how do how do the three of y'all uh blue ellie and icky um arrive in trade town and then we'll kind of see what's been going on since then magnificently magnificently mm -hmm. Oh my god! Like, like Baloo is like the ex-girlfriend that goes into prom. Like, even though she's coming into prom alone, she's still like spent way too much money on her dress and makeup. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, oh, totally. it's a little close to the heart. <laughs> when uh, when my internet cut out, I'm just going to assume Icky was burrowing during that time and like allowing Ellie and Baloo time to like hang out by themselves. So if she nice. arrives, since her movement is faster than Baloo and Ellie and she's not slowed by conversation, I imagine she'll r arrive first and wait for them there. Okay. Yeah. We find uh, Icky waiting for you there. Uh, there is, so Gildan and the Gildanites uh, <laughs> cross over the river. The do up band. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, and do what? What, what are the, what's the first thing? your arrival in town like Gildan. All right. Um, they arrive like they do in in most towns, except this time, instead of being less aggressive, it's more like uh, they present themselves as if they are a, a beautiful flower. And each servitor represents a different petal of this rose. Um, and if you've ever seen uh, the great Muppet caper, there's kind of this synchronized swimming scene where Miss Piggy rises in the middle of them. That's yes. me. that's me. <laughs> and like, like and yeah, so we're kind of uh, uh, flourishing. We're trying to uh, uh, cater to uh, the, the the young ones, and um, we we come bringing gifts: um, fried scorpion and armadillo casserole, and. Uh, 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 prickly pear fruits, and uh, these are the things that uh, we are offering freely to all in the town. Um, and uh, at, we, with that, um, I'm going to seek out friends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to seek my best friend first, not Baloo. I mean, sorry, that hurt <sighs> too soon. <laughs> no, I, I actually I'm trying to find. Uh, Baloo first, because I want to show him the greatness of these servitors that we have uh, we have uh, taught to be strong and survive in the wastes, and uh, they are they're beautiful now. Look at they them. are beautiful. Baloo they are the is, desert rose. Baloo seems to be absent to trade town. Uh, I, I, you know, when you immediately arrive, it's it's just Mer that's uh, that's there. Oh, that one. <laughs> Yes. Hello, Merge. Hello, Gilda. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am just the keeper of the desert rose. As my servers kind of flail themselves around you, they kind of form, you know, they have all these little uh, miraculous dances that they do. And they, they kneel polite, very low to the ground, their heads low, arms stretched back, and perfectly synchronized, too. It's like, ah, yes. They have been trained well. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> if they haven't been trained well, it's kind of to, to an outsider. It's like these poor souls. Are, are they having spasms? With them? <laughs> but they're working hard. I need a flashback to like you choreographing. What <laughs> <laughs> two kick turn? Shot three Five, kick turn. Six, seven. seven eight, eight. <laughs> No, Baloo, if Baloo came with me, he would have been on the piano trying to get them, but instead, that's the whole reason. We need Baloo to get them perfectly in sync. And these are these are the dedicated. They're the dedicated, because they have been dedicated through the uh, dedication ceremony. They've been dedicated to the hag, and as you can see, they are they are a wonder to behold. 
and will do great things. They certainly are something to see. <laughs> I believe this belongs to you, and she's gonna like reach into her bag and just like, go, like go, gripping the hag puppet, just kind of like hold it out to give them. My master! Oh, you found Haggle! And I hold her I close did. to my goblin breast. And I go, Haggle, isn't she the most miraculous thing? She's like, I am! I'm a wonder to behold, just as the roses were! Well, I went. Mary's Haggle, were already regretting just handing it back to Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. In, in fact, Haggle, Haggle is is your friend now. I created her to serve you. Yes, I live but to serve you, Mer. And she kind of comes over and like, <laughs> cuddles onto your leg. Just the title of of Mer's episode in her head instead of Mer's bad day is transformed into <laughs> Mer's worst day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, um, Gilden, I believe Ellie went off to find. Icky and perhaps Baloo, they should be in town not too long. Baloo's here? He's um, around? He's been building a house outside of town. Settling down? With who? Oh, it's been just himself. He's been working on it by himself. It started a good bit of the populace, actually, and the fact that it was just him. But I managed to assuage there. Worries. Well, he probably summoned badgers or something to help him. Bro, Why didn't you help him? I was helping rebuild Trade Town. Mm, I, I think the servitors were helping rebuild Trade Town. But... There was many people rebuilding Trade Town. <laughs> wow. It, yeah, it looks mm. nice. Looks looks Good. a lot better than when yes. I, I last saw it. <laughs> I should. <know. laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it's uh, not long after this exchange <laughs> that, that the rest of the party and she just lives. looks like not her normal relaxed self she's just very stiff but like in her polite posture she's just like mm -hmm. haggles creeping up your back her little haggle hands on your shoulders you must relax me. she kind of needs your shoulders yeah, well, that creepy puppet from Mr. Rogers uh, massages <laughs> Mer. Lady, my museum goes yes. yes. the world upside down. That's what it is. Yeah, Icky, Ellie, and Baloo have uh, made their entrance into Trade Town and are, uh, you know, there's commotion uh, near the docks slash uh, merchant pavilion there. Um, the, the, the town uh, itself, during this time, they, they, they bring out great big leather sheets that, that kind of connect buildings and, and provide some relief during the daytime from the heat. Um, so it's not entirely, it's not entirely unpleasant. Um, there is shade. You find yourselves in Trade Town early in the morning. Commotion somewhere in town. Hmm, a commotion, you say? Is it very low? It's there's a big crowd uh, of, of people um, close to the merchants' quarter. Uh, there's it's not like a, I don't know, Gildan. How loud is it? Your, your your display that you had. Oh, um, I'd put I'd put it like this: uh, louder than a tavern brawl, but not louder than a Broadway show. Interesting. So it's yeah. kind of like a little league game. Interesting. <laughs> Three things that don't exist for the land. Well, two, there are tavern brawls in Lambertron Troopers, and I bet there's the equivalent of a Broadway show. Three things that oh, definitely exist. Out of the notes. Yeah, in the mm -hmm. Lambertron Troopers. I may have put them in the play. It's a, it's a drow wow. thing. <laughs> drow dominate the theater. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could so see that they're very dramatic. <laughs> right. uh, so that's what, yeah, that's what the the three of you hear as you enter into uh, into uh, Trade Town. There's a, a commotion, not like a not like a chaotic sort of mayhem, but just a, a performance, perhaps of some kind. Um, yeah, right now they're halfway through. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine, and they're like singing it to Gilded while they wave back and forth. He's kind of conducting. Them. Do you hear that commotion? A commotion is happening. And then she runs towards the commotion. 
the new word. <laughs> she just learned it. We, we were practicing on the way into town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cue cards. No, no cards. Um, note stones. I, you know what? Blue's gonna go check out the commotion. Uh, ever wary for the presence of someone, um, but he's gonna kind of keep to himself. Still got his cloak on. He's uh, yeah. yeah. Incognito. Inco- well, I mean, kind of. He's huge. He's like seven foot tall. So. But then again, so are a lot of people. In the, in so the are all the half ogres, other bugbears, lizards. Yeah, there's That's a lot a of point. like, there's a lot of big boys in Trade Town. Yeah, uh, big boys. And so blue, <coughs> otherwise covered up, uh, actually could blend in rather well. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a bugbear thing. Bugbears. We're, we're sneaky. It's a time of year where everybody goes around in like full body and facial coverings because mm-hmm. they don't want to turn to ash. So. Uh, Mm-hmm. It's not unusual that uh, that you'd be like that. Um, yeah, he 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 grows his uh, his bugbear hair out. It looks kind of like a like a dirty chia pet or something. Gotcha. Um, that's a perfect description of blue. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is in the market quarter as the Gildenites are performing their uh, their opening ceremony. There, uh, it's you mean. You all know each other. There's not that many people here. This is not, uh, you know, like a market day or anything. There's probably less than a hundred people overall that gather. But this time of year, that's a big crowd. Um, so you find yourselves here as the Gildenites are, are, I don't know, wrapping up or in the middle of or just starting their performance. We're wrapping up a uh, sweet Adeline. Gotcha. And, <laughs> uh, and you sort of like everybody kind of sees each other across this crowd. Uh, around the same time as well. Jim, I got a 22 on my stealth check. All right, 22. <laughs> <coughs> so I turn around and then Baloo's gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, and she gets closer to the commotion. Mm-hmm. Like, what is that awful sound? And then she kind of like peeks over people and she's like, are these things real? And she looks next, like to the right of uh, if if there's anybody standing next to her. Um, She'll kind of wait for a response. Standing next to her is Icky, who is also waiting for a response because she only came to the marketplace for one thing and that's to read the signs. And so she's like a four-year-old, like pointing at leather and then holding out her hand for treat. Oh. And then metal. <laughs> and there's like nothing happening. She's just like, okay. Oh, Blue would normally reward her. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but he's gone. He vanished. He vanished. He just disappeared. He ghosted. He, he ghosted. Yeah. Uh-huh. I put a bag of live worms or and other bugs on her hand yeah she eats the whole bag she's like yes <laughs> <laughs> i am learning yeah and now she's and now she's paying attention to the dance hmm. and she looks at ellie and like her mouth is full she's like what is this i don't know but it sounds awful other is that is that gilded mm. I might have, you probably see Mer twitching like just on the outside, and, and that would affirm yes. Right, because Mer doesn't go about covered, and she's got fire resistance. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I just walk around in my yeah. normal wear. Yeah, Icky, this, like yeah, Icky will set a hand on Ellie's shoulder and say, "We should go before he sees us." <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, Ellie will try to stealth. Mm-hmm. She got a one. Come Yay. out. That Ellie. is exactly what I expected to happen. <laughs> okay, before he sees us, a little too loud, and then she'll like. <laughs> Servitors <laughs> rise around her. Sweet Adeline. Please, please stop. You, I don't like that noise. I don't know what that is, but. What is singing? <laughs> It's... I think she would enjoy singing. Even babies sing. 
Well, I everyone's... think only the the notes that are. You want the remix coming out of these things? Well, they sing the words, not the notes. Or They're like Vegas singers. That is the problem, guys. I don't like this. Y'all just don't appreciate rock and roll. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this god spikes me. <laughs> um, like, try to push them out of the way. Like, Gildan Gild comes up, like, he runs through your legs and turns around. Ellie, it is so good to see you. Uh, How are you? I have not seen you in a long time. Good. You saved my life, and I am forever in your debt and appreciate it. That's okay. You don't have to. I mean, what? Is there something wrong with me? Am I unwanted? Is Icky here? What about Balu? Mm hmm. She likes stuffing her face. <laughs> she didn't want to admit that they're here or not. Ellie. Mm hmm. You should be honest, Ellie. Why are you filling your face? You hardly ever eat anything, which is why you are so thin. I eat stuff like bugs. You Lasagna. usually don't eat that many. Lasagna. You should eat more. I try. I try to eat. She like grabs a bigger handful of bugs, and, like, oh. like bugs coming out. Icky uh, <laughs> like, uh, like thinks it's hilarious. Perception. Icky's uh. like yes. <laughs> she does her raptor laugh, but she just. <laughs> <laughs> How are uh, you, Icky? How are you? Uh, Jim, you wanted a perception. Yeah, yeah. From who? Everybody. Everybody. Oh, okay. I, I rolled a natural one, so where is too grumpy oh to see goodness. anything? I got um, do I have anything in perception? Yes, I do. I got a nineteen. Net twenty. I didn't know I was proficient in twenty-four perception. I forgot. Uh, I got eleven. I'm, I'm too busy. I hear the dog. beating of Baloo's heart. No, no, you don't. Uh, and then so that was I'm cold. Eleven for Blue, and then how about for Ellie? I got a six. Six. All right. Can't we? Nothing happens this game because we can't see anything. <laughs> right. That's the, I remember the last time. We I were got it. Yeah, I got a twenty-four. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. So we've got Gildan and Icky during this sort of whole exchange. There's, you know, Gildan pops up. Ellie's sort of deflecting. Oh, I don't know. Um, there are, you know, figures throughout the crowd that are kind of, uh, you know, milling about, curious about the servitors, curious about what all's going on. Um, but both of you spot a, uh, a group of, um, a, a group of maybe wardens or someone, and they all, they're all kind of looking in the direction of Murr and kind of talking with each other. As Murr's just there like angry and upset and, you know, <laughs> Uh, you know, there's uh, there's more than uh, just the one warden. Uh, both Icky and Gildan notice that. Uh, otherwise, you know, Baloo, you're stealthing away. You don't want to be seen. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm within an eye shot of of the uh, of the terrible um, wandering man. It's lurking. Okay. I, I'm lurking. Yes. Uh -huh. Lurking. All right. Mm -hmm. Blue lurks in the crowd. I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Gildan and Ellie are sort of talking. Icky, you're nearby. Uh, and then Murr is uh, uh, sort of further away there. Um, give me an idea. What's what's the plan? Are you all, seems as though Gildan and Blue are on the outs. Gildo well, will mm -hmm. not be anymore. That's okay. I have Haggle now. No, you don't. You gave her to murder, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. went to Haggle to learn a few new tricks yeah. and come back. You married to the you married to the church. I married to the church. Come, my angels. <laughs> Nothing but oatmeal and yogurt enemas for you. Mm. Better believe it. <laughs> At least we have good uh, donut and coffee. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I liked it. That's some <laughs> Reverend Kellogg humor there. <laughs> nice call. You're back. Well, you're well. I, I think Murr is just. <laughs> I think Murr's just going through some like breathing exercises, 
to try and just not murder anyone right now. She's just Where? like, like there's this hag puppet. Like, are you are you pregnant? What? What? <laughs> you are not your normal self. No, I, I. You are normally so calm and, and relaxed. Saying you, by the way, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Does a child yes. grow within you? No, there's, there's no. Has the I, seed been planted? There's no. There is. <coughs> there are many measures <coughs> taken to prevent that. There is no. I, I did not get a very good night's sleep last night at all. I am just a little tired, and. You always sleep so well. Can I you... do. I sleep like a baby most nights. I sleep very well. The things I do let me sleep at night so well. We are familiar. Yeah. Icky will look at Gildan and say, Malu hates you now. He is sad all the time. Please he is fix. very upset. Fix he, it. He chooses to live with hatred in his heart. I don't when think you he love hates. someone, you must let them go. If they love you, they come back. You did come back. back. (laughs) Oh god. And and she's just like, you did come back, please. (laughs) I did. I I came back because I I had to take my uh Gildenites on a pilgrimage to their home. Mm. The spater helped me. He's like ninety (laughs) percent tuned out. Does Icky notice anything else about these wardens that's gonna be like suspicious or like they caught her eye once, so Yeah, Murd has no idea. She's just Uh like there's a pair of them that are, you know, uh, pacing around, uh, and you, you, when you noticed them, there were three. Now it's just two. You you don't spot the uh, <coughs> the other one immediately. Um, they're kind of. I mean, they mostly are in a position to keep an eye on on what's going on in the crowd, um, but they are they are paying attention to Mur. And Gildan sees this too, right? Yeah, Gildan notices this as well. You'll have to re-roll a perception to see if you can't spot the third one. Icky's been rebuilding (laughs) the town for a little while. Does she recognize these wardens? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would she recognize, like, anything that signifies rank? They are lower ranked. They are some of the... I'm second here now. I rolled a 19. I got a 23. And, um, yeah. So, uh... You do not spot the other, uh, the third one. Oh, All right. Man. Well, um, Mara, was invisible. Yes. Would you like to take a walk with me, please? I give you that look. That look. The thing I must tell you about my time in the pyramid. His eyes always do that. It's fine. I, I, <laughs> yes, Gildan. I would. Uh, the, yes, let's walk. Uh, um. I was going to say, I would love to, but I was like... Mm. Maybe hold hands, and I hold up my tiny little goblin hand. Take my strong hand. Short time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm done. No more. I won't won't do anything. I think you broke me. I don't know if I can speak anymore. My insides are about to fall out I didn't wait for you to drink Coke this time, so it's... Man. (laughs) <laughs> Little is TK No Scary Movie 2 is my favorite of the scary movies. It's the only good one. Take the strong hand. If I start, I'll never stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, and I hold it up. I go, Mary. Yeah. I'm about to cry off my eyeliner. <laughs> I, 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 I offer you my hand, which Gildan would never typically do. I know. She'll, she'll take it. All right. He holds. He does that gross little thing with his finger in the mo- No, I'm just kidding. Um, he, 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 That's a real life pet peeve. Like. <coughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody likes that. I'm Nobody. casting non detection on Mur so that she can't be targeted by any divination magic or perceived through magical scrying sensor. Okay. <coughs> and I'm, I just kind of uh, do that and I say the magic word Presto Strangeo Rearrange O. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Because <laughs> you grab my hand to go presto a strange over here, right? It's just it's just Gildan. Yeah. It's just Gildan. Gildan being Gildan. Um he drives so. you wild. What, what did you want to walk in the talk about? Um I feel you are being hunted. 
I feel you have been betrayed. And there, there are wardens and they have their eyes on you and not in the usual eyes on mer kind of way. Interesting. <laughs> this is when the servitors would start singing can't keep my eyes off of you, but they're... they're... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it always feels like somebody's watching mer. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no privacy. Uh, oh, well. Just right. in the next eight hours. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> are, are you guys walking back uh, somewhere, or are you having this conversation? Um, do you remember the home of that one guy that uh, we got high in? Oh yeah, Barnabas. Barnabas. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Barnabas. I'm taking Mer to Barnabas's house because it's the only house I know. Uh -huh. I'm not going to take her to the orc pits, although that might be a good second second uh, place. But uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm taking her, and then uh, can I can I can I like casual like like oh, adjusting my veil? Can I look to see if uh, anyone's watching me? Uh, yeah, you can make a, a perception uh, for that. Maybe I want that one this time. Yes. The, oh, Eleven. No, you go. <laughs> you go. Um, you, I mean, you look around, you see the, the, the crowd is starting to kind of break up. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the wardens who are, are, who are here are, you know, two of them are going to stay just because they kind of stay. Yeah. Um, and then the others are, the other two are headed back towards uh, the, uh, the fellowship uh, <coughs> from Trade Town. So, I mean, it, it okay. looks like, yeah, yeah mm. I don't see anything. Like, he Gildan's usually not that paranoid, though, so she, she'll keep her eye out. No, he normally walks head first. I know, that's why. So if he says something, she's, she's going to This is it. going down. This is. And she's gotten a little less crazy. angry and a little more, like, fierce. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm being hunted. Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> There's a lot of possibilities. <laughs> Can I kill someone today? Uh, are you guys trying to be uh, uh, subtle about this at all uh, in sneaking away? Uh, you better believe it, Gildan. Yeah, I think they get around like a corner and then try to. Okay. <coughs> All right. Uh, then give me a, a stealth roll to use the crowd to kind of. Uh -huh. You know, I'm gonna use my other one. That one. That one's been rolled. All uh, right. Blue dice should... jail. A six. I didn't see them. Right. Six. On. Uh, you didn't see what Gildan and uh, Icky saw. But... Twenty-one for stealth. Yeah. Twenty-one for stealth. Um, I mean, like you were right there next to Gildan. Seventeen. You saw Gildan go over. Seventeen mm -hmm. for Gildan. You saw him go over to Mer. Uh, and, and do something, you know, be gilded at her. Um, so that's in where the, I'll step. In the meantime, since Ellie and Icky were standing beside each other, did I notice if they took any interest in Mer leaving? Um, it, it seems as though they regarded it, uh, but it, they also, it looks like they, they maybe either lost where she was or, or something, but the crowd is starting to break up, lots of movement, lots of people yeah. going everywhere. I'll, I'll mention it to Ellie, but I won't be as, like, invested as Gildan was, because as far as Icky's concerned, it was two wardens that were watching Murr and uh, <coughs> people people covet Murr's position all the time and make plots against Murr all the time. So it's probably yeah, nothing that Icky hasn't seen or overheard before. Which so she'll position? mention it to, to <laughs> all positions. All mm -hmm. positions. <laughs> all positions. Uh, can I, people find my positions quite in. <laughs> can I uh, uh, can I tail them? Uh, Ellie or uh, Murr and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Gildan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. like a follow train. Uh -huh. You're uh -huh. on a date. Uh, yeah, I got a 17 if it matters, but I mean, I was watching Gildan the whole time, so do I have advantage, maybe? Uh, I, I would say your familiarity with Gildan uh, gives you uh, gives you some advantage, but you you keep eyes, right? Like, your Gildan stealth was a 17. You yeah, you, fought, you see Gildan. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, am so a, I am like a shadow. <laughs> yeah. A whisper, if you will. Um, yeah, she's, some, she's just some strange woman holding my hand. Right. Oh yeah, I can disguise self. <laughs> yeah, we're on the Do corner, it. and I'll just disguise self. You're not even self. at all. Make yourself look like like Mama Gildan or something. Uh, yeah, I'll just disguise myself to look like um, Goblin Waifu. Uh, I 
something. He I think I'm, I'm time. a decent taller than than Goblin. I'm five four. So yeah, you're like yeah. two feet taller than me. Yeah, it's a little taller. Um, <laughs> what's small? What's about that height? That's not. Uh, maybe just a drow. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so the two of you walk along. Blue following behind as Baluch attempting to be quiet about this. He is stealthed. Too bad I didn't prepare Pass Without Trace because I would cast it. Oh yeah, I have the stealth of, of a scorned lover, uh, but I only got a 15 on, on my stealth. Now, if you guys would, I mean, I don't know if that beats any of your uh, passive perceptions. Um, so it looks as though you're unnoticed <coughs> for now as uh, Murr and Gildan appear focused elsewhere uh, and, and sort of making their way. And <coughs> Gildan is with a drow woman at this point um, uh, after you sort of turn the corner on them. Ellie and Icky, the two of you were sort of together. Uh, if, if you'd like, Baloo got a 15 to slink off. Uh, and you can attempt <laughs> to spot him or you do what you want. This entire game is perception stealth rolls amongst the party. Yeah. <laughs> It is. It's like a really like dramatic as the as the two river as the inter, the invisible sun turns or whatever. This, like, yeah, this is so popular. The, the oh whole landscape is bathed in this deep red light as as the now yeah. the sun sort of peak above. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's bad. The the invisible sun never really <laughs> sun, so it never really gets fully dark during the summer. But the two suns out is what really makes it uh, unbearable. Super Elliot. dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I just like me personally, TK would love to follow Baloo and all this drama and stuff, but I just don't feel like Icky is hardcore invested in following Baloo and Gildan because Icky's already like Baloo doing what Baloo does. Maybe. Um, is did I notice there were three guys and one of them has disappeared and it was only the two? Correct. Can can I at all roll perception to see if I see that third guy? You can. I rolled a 29. Whoo! <laughs> That's going to be a negative ghost rider. I ain't even rolled yet. And I only get a plus five. So, yeah, I only yeah. got a 23. Yeah, they ghosted. Well, there was one there. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Icky will ask Ellie what Ellie would like to do today. Well, Since they have to get away from this awful screeching. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess they were looking at her weird, or were, I don't know where she went, but should we talk <coughs> to her? And as uh, soon as she asks, should we talk to them? She just goes straight towards the guys. Yeah, Icky thought about it for a second and was like, this seems reasonable. <laughs> and follows. For the record, uh, my passive wisdom or passive perception uh -huh. would have been high enough because I had invoked my blessing of wisdom. Uh -huh. So to spot below. I would have just yeah. So I I'm not letting him know that I know he's there. Got feel you. All right. It could just be some bug there. Yeah, that's the other thing is is he's fully is uh, fully covered here. Um, unless y'all say, already paranoid. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so, whole person. <laughs> you smell his bugbear after aftershave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Gildan and a it's, disguise. This is called scorned lover. It's his new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Baloo following behind, not far after Vicky and Ellie following after Baloo, and you're making your way towards Barnabas's house. Uh, which is in the foreign quarter. Now, Barnabas survived uh, his imprisonment in uh, in the Pyramid of Leng, but not unscathed. Um, mm -hmm. Barnabas was one of the first to receive the uh, full brunt of Leng's uh, psychic interrogation techniques. And Barnabas is both mentally not the same anymore and physically still bears the, uh, the scars from his imprisonment. But um, Murr would know that uh, Barnabas is quickly becoming an accomplished arcanist in his own right, whereas before the you know he was merely a, a dilettante uh, and a dabbler. So, a dab making your way there. 
Yes, we should, I would... We should be safe here. Oh, yes, I know this place. One of this. Quite, uh, quite accomplished. A, 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 a dabbler. Mm, it does a bit more than dabble. Mm, interesting. I look her up and down. Um, and, uh, yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a knocking. Right or, in front of Baloo. If it's like gypsy beads or Romani beads, uh, mm-hmm. they're just going to be like, hello. Little uh, <coughs> view window slides open. Who's that? Uh, Mur. And. Uh, Gildan? Yeah, it's Gildan and my uh, drow wife. And uh, we were wondering if we might stop in. Uh, and say hello, and I was wondering if you had, uh, any, uh, alchemical substances? He gives Gildan a, uh, a look of just... Uh, and you hear the view window slides and you can hear... And, the door... <laughs> The door opens up. Of course, Barnabas's uh, <coughs> abode is is partially dug into the ground there, and so a short flight of steps leads down into uh, a small room where Barnabas, leaning heavily on a thick cane, um, is uh, standing before you mm. and uh, <clears throat> waiting for you to reveal yourself as is custom. Hello, I'm Gildan. Here I am. It is murder. I would drop this illusion, but apparently I am being watched. So for my safety, I would like to leave it on. Say no more. And he, um, <clears throat> Gildan, you can take your wrappings if you need. Yes, I, I'd very much uh, like you, uh, my wrappings to be taken. Um, and, uh, I don't want to screw this guy over, but I might have. <laughs> <coughs> Man, I wish I was coughing so much. Um, so, all right. Here's how this is going to go down. Mm-hmm. It's not going to go down. It's not going down. I'm not. Murr's life is in my hands. Um, uh, Barnabas, um. Might we stay for uh, afternoon meals? No. Uh, certainly. The, wait, I could fix you breakfast now. Uh, but yes, I'd like to would... stay through lunch. I have uh, already had breakfast, thank you. I understand. Mm. You're supposed to disguise your voice. Please. And he... This is a draw accent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they sounded Australian. Um, they do in my they do in my world. They're all laying down on that. There's surface oh. draw here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love your draw. That's great. Um, um, uh, yeah, so so um yes, a, a, a breakfast would be good. Um I'm very worried about my servitors out there. They probably Mur. Yes. I'm not going to cast blindness on Mur. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he up to? I am like, less and less Gild- comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is guys, there. I, I don't do well under stress. That's right. <laughs> Gildan, is there something? <coughs> Tell me, Mur. Like, Barnabas is sort of confused. I, I am a bit confused to... as well. I. She's being followed. She's being pursued. Yeah. Devil Wardens. Burr is the second most powerful warden here. But not the first or the third. Gilton. There are people who are jealous of her. But there's always the people who are jealous. Do you have proof? Oh, yes, I saw them with my own eyes. When? In the marketplace while uh, the uh, all servitor Yellow Waste family singers were performing. Oh, that was the noise. Uh, <laughs> Baloo is uh, approaching Barnabas. <laughs> uh, is there a, is there a window? There are some. There are a couple of uh, windows at, at at ground level, um, 
that let in some light, but he, you know, mm-hmm. you, you know Barnabas, he, he, he enjoys his privacy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And his abode is deep in the, in the foreign quarter. How, how big is his abode? Uh, it's a four room. Um, oh, so it's actually pretty spacious. It's pretty spacious. N- I mean, none of the rooms are particularly large, but it is, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's more than most have. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to turn into the, the smallest bug that I'm able to turn into and try to wiggle it. I don't know if you can. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, no. I, don't, I don't think there's a lower limit. There's a there's a, a rule on bugs because they're not categorized as beasts, I think. I'm trying to yeah, remember. But, but they're no so mammals. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. fine. Yeah, yeah, the bugs yeah. are beasts. That's fine. Uh, all every every there are no natural animals. In land. You, you know, sure. Jim Davis did a video on this the other day. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, every one of those problem DM examples I have done myself, personal experience. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, but bugs, mutant creatures. Uh, there, there are really not many uh, natural animals in the land. So yeah, you can you can turn into something that's you know. Roughly the size of a, a bug that's like roughly the size of like say a garden snake or or a or a tiny mouse or something like okay. that. And I, I turn into a weedle, um, and uh, and I hide in the tall grass. Uh, no, I'm gonna turn into something small and try to wiggle my way inside. Just yeah. all right. Uh, turn into a giant centipede. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scatter you stuff. Make, you can make your way in. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna kind of, well, uh, Barnabas is being hospitable. <laughs> I'm gonna play uh, some very quiet music and ritually cast a Liamon's Tiny Hut just because it is very hot and the inside would be comfortable. And so he's providing us with hospitality. I'll make his abode a little more comfortable the next eight very hours. True. Very true. Nice. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Ellie and, and Icky can see um, blue shrink down. After that point, he's a bit too far away and too small to see exactly what happens, but you can see him sort of collapse on himself. Okay, wasn't I going to talk to the sketchy people, though? Yeah, the, oh, the, my bad. Ske- I'm the, sorry. the sketch of what? Right. I misunderstood. Um, then yeah, well, uh, let's, okay. uh, let's play that out. Yeah. So Ellie will kind of look around after Icky told her that they're kind of looking at Mer. Mm-hmm. But <coughs> she doesn't really know Mer's type of customers. Mm-hmm. So she'll just go up to them and be like, Hello. Uh, are they. Well, hello. Hmm. <coughs> she has like an awkward wave. Yeah, they, they, you know, are like, Oh, uh, Ellie, Ellie, is it? Maybe. Mm. It's yeah. a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's a, a uh, let's see, let me pull up uh, my name list. My influence is spreading. Right. Maybe. I'm the only female human and like for miles <laughs> around, but I'm maybe. Not maybe. Really. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, my name's uh, Bash. Uh, he seem, carries himself like a, a, a young hobgoblin. Hmm. Bash. <laughs> Interesting name. And I look over at my axe, but pretend I'm looking behind my shoulder. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, is there, is, is everything okay? And is, is so far, the other one hasn't really said anything. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Why do you ask, Bash? Well, I just, you, you, you came over here and wanted to, I guess, talk to us? I, I, I just wouldn't. I think doing, yeah. Yeah, you can see him, he's getting kind of flustered. Um, why are you? Why? Why does your face do that? What's going? I, it's, it's getting really hot out here. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, I, I just, you know, I, I'm, gosh, I. Uh, and he just know. sort of. I, I, Use your words. I, you know, I. I do that I, sometimes. I really, I really admire you, um, and and just wanted to let you know. <laughs> like I really appreciate <laughs> what you did for us. <laughs> Uh, he seems embarrassed about it. Oh. At this point, she doesn't know how to respond, so it's like a minute or maybe thirty seconds of uh. You're welcome. 
<laughs> looks suspicious as to like Icky will like poke her head in and say she is too young to mate do you not have work to do uh, oh yeah 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 <clears throat> go sure yeah uh, and they uh, the two of them uh, walk <laughs> off kind of like looking over their shoulder and uh, and, and and making their way towards she'll like do boss. that like protective mom wave like <laughs> yeah you better fucking run <laughs> <laughs> Savage mom is savage. Uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that lizard folk, maternal instinct. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so Ellie and Nikki find themselves uh, in a rapidly deserting market square as the uh, the suns begin to uh, to rise in the sky. Um, the two wardens walk away. You know, they they kind of give you a second glance, but they go to looking at boats and talking to. Uh, to the people coming down the river. Yeah. Uh, where do you go next? Yeah, um, I'll probably try to follow where the rest of the squad went. Okay. It looked like they were going in the direction of the foreign quarter. Um, that's the last time that you uh, that you saw them. Cool. Um, back at Barnabas's. I'm going to say Baloo makes it inside as the tiny hut sort of forms. So mm -hmm. that Baloo is inside. Yeah, yeah. It takes ten minutes to cast. Right, ritual, right. So, or eleven uh, minutes. So. And and so, Baloo, you enter into Barnabas's abode. It's Mer sort of playing uh, one of her uh, sitars. Barnabas is seems to be uh, putzing around a, a tea kettle. And Gildan, what are you up to? Oh, I'm on like the third chapter of my apocryphal telling of the creation myth of the servitors from pink goop to greatness and um, from servitors to sovereigns. And uh, yes, and I'm I'm essentially uh, uh, really getting into it. I'm really putting on a show with this. Um, and uh now Barnabas isn't ever going to like these servitors. He probably hates every second of this because he was tortured by them. But so was I. I bear the same wounds he does. Mm -hmm. I've seen the goodness in them. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to spend the time until we can uh, figure out what's going on. Either okay. danger comes to us, and it's wearing a hood. I, I, I guess I thought you might have uh, left or something. I'm, I'm, uh, I guess I'm I, I would, you know what? That's probably what happened. I need to go check on my boys in, in the town square. I will wait here. All right. You, you do that. Uh, um, mm. uh, and enjoy your time with uh, Barnabas. Uh, I always do. You know, my draw wife. And mm. then, <laughs> and then I, I like head up. Building leaves. Blue enters. <laughs> Gildan's going to run into Icky and Ellie here pretty soon. Um, so staying with Barnabas real quick, uh, you know, Blue, you're inside. It's Mer. It's uh, it's Barnabas. He just, I imagine you just kind of like insect up to Mer. <laughs> yeah, like, it's me. I don't Hello. do that because I can't. Yeah, I figure, but I figure you like, like wave an antenna or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hello, Baloo. Uh, I do not just talk to do you want me to do it for you? Yes? I okay, well, I'll lose okay. an insect, says Haggle. I forgot about that. You, you, <laughs> Attacking the master! I don't oh, think so. Hey. I, I call shenanigans. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I call shenanigans. <laughs> is blue, blue still a worm? Or is there, mm -hmm. a, is there a bug thing? I, I imagine that he's he is a uh, he is a special kind of roach. All right, mm -hmm. that, that sounds perfect. Yeah, um, yeah. So I get, you know, Mer is having this exchange, or, get, or mm -hmm. a drow woman is having this exchange. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So. I will. Uh, I don't even know what you want with him. I guess I will speak to him as best I can. I told him you were making a house because you were very lonely. <laughs> uh, I, I will turn around. Just wear me away. 
You should tell him you would like him to fill your house and maybe something else. Mm. I will. His belly button. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl over to the hag puppet. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to strangle it as a bone. <laughs> I watch. It'll fight you back. All right. Um, it either yeah. is or isn't you, Grant. <laughs> it will do what it needs to do. Uh, <laughs> the puppet will defend itself. Uh, yeah, better. Um, it's already been strangled once today. Right, right. This exchange goes on where, where sort of a Coke can sized cockroach takes on the uh, <laughs> puppet there. Um, Part it, of this place is bets. <laughs> right. It, there's. <laughs> <laughs> for some time, Barnabas offering uh, what it hospitality totally has, um, and and sort of at, at some point, kind of inquiring is does Gildan have any? Is there any truth to what he says? Bunted. Uh, well, he would not bring it up with me. I don't think he did not suspect it was the truth. And I have a few enemies hereabouts, here and there. I dispatch of most of them, but uh, there are always new ones and people who d don't like my position currently. Hmm. There's also a few people who have yet to report to me. They're very late. Perhaps this has something to do with that. Ah, well, you don't want to be involved in warden business. Mm. But you're welcome to stay here for the time being. Thank you. I will stay. I will stay. I believe through the afternoon, and when peak uh, heat of day hits, maybe I'll do some investigating. <laughs> she don't have to go around covered, mm -hmm. so she can just be like, "All right, guys, <laughs> I'll drag you out to the sunlight if you don't answer my questions." Right. <laughs> <laughs> about to be bad cop, bad cop on. Bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> Uh, Law and Order Trade Town. Um, so oh, it's some, here. It's some that's a good one-off. Gildan runs into Ooh, that'd be uh, a good one-off. Ellie and Nikki as they come through, uh, or, or sort of wandering through the streets of the uh, the foreign quarter here. Um, yeah, you guys run into each other. Hello again. Where are you going? I have to go get my children before they find themselves in trouble. Why? Because, like most children, um, they do well for a short time, but then they need supervision. And then his children were the little puppets, right? No, they're... my children are servitors. Oh, they were actual... Yeah, yeah. There, were, there were about 80 of them la that surrendered at the battle, and uh, mm -hmm. 30 of those followed Gildan into the wastes, and now 14 of them have come back. The rest were eaten by a giant worm. We yes. live in it now. <laughs> Uh, are you sure <coughs> take care of them? You can barely take care of yourself. You're one to talk. Yeah, I, I am talking. Ellie got sassy in these Ooh. three months. I'm into it. Ooh. I'm here for this. Right. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Ellie, yeah. you're growing up to be a bad girl. And then I run off and I'm going back to my privateers. <laughs> right. To be ashamed. What yeah, is, you'll you you'll find that. them. <laughs> Am I not good at what I do? Mer just told like, you the other day, like yesterday, you were growing up to such a lovely young woman. Mm -hmm. Icky will do one of like Baloo's hand gestures and just if be I like, If I made Ellie oh, cry God. again, I feel horrible. For Ellie. <laughs> Gildan's like got a little tear in his eye too. Uh -huh. Spiteful. Yeah, they'll high five. <laughs> yeah. Icky will say, I still like you. Thanks. Tear rolls down. She turns just in time so nobody sees. Yeah, that's good because <laughs> Iggy would be like, Ugh. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Emotion. Uh, right. Uh, so, are you, y'all are continuing to, continuing on then? Uh, um, I man, it's getting to be high noon up in here. Um, mm -hmm. we're probably gonna, it, is there, okay. So, people still come to the market and everything. There has to be, I, I guess there doesn't have to be, it's your world. Um, but in my imagination, mm -hmm. there is some manner of public rest for people that are caught out of their homes. That sounds like a thing that would exist. 
okay. Yeah. I would I would probably if if it were Icky, Icky would um suggest that since Mur is not here to to host them uh against her will inside of her house. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, is a key. <laughs> that's true. I mean and you're oh, actually not that far away from uh from Mur's townhouse here. Um so yeah. It, yeah, then Icky will like turn to Ellie and be like do you have a key to the house with the food in it? The food in it? Yes. We go there. It is hot. And she'll she will suggest that they go to Mer's house and eat all of Mer's food while they wait for the <laughs> sun to go down. Okay. I mean Mer's not fruit. back, so what if it goes bad? I mean I know. It's true. true. Very true. Let's go. You make your way to Murr's house, unlocking with the key that Ellie has. Um, Gildan finds his servitor sort of milling about the abandoned marketplace, actually kind of looking for where you had gone. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm going to start r- rallying them up. Are, are they all accounted for? Do I have 14? Yes. All right. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if now's the time to petition, petition the leader of Trade Town that the pyramid be given back to these 14. But I don't think we're quite ready to make that ask. Um, let's, uh, I think we're going to do some, we're going to do a little bit of patrolling. Um, All right. And tell the servitors to keep an eye out uh, for people that have their eyes on them, which could be anyone. And to not speak it out loud, but to make a mental note. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around Trade Town and then we're going to meet back here. And I want to hear from each of them who was watching us. So Gildan knows from having spent so long around the servitors that they have retained some nascent uh, psychic ability for themselves mm-hmm. and can form temporary uh, telepathic bonds with each other. Um, they, <coughs> that, that's still sort of a, a, a power that some of them seem to, uh, to possess. So they, they are able to kind of stay in limited communication with each other. Um, like um you're patrolling around and i missed the second part okay we're gonna patrol a bit they're gonna take note of who's who's very who looks suspicious of us which could be everyone might not be anyone we've been very benign while we've been here um and then when we uh, get back to the marketplace we're going to uh i they're they're gonna tell me who's who's got eyes on us Hmm. (coughs) your patrol of the streets this time of day, most people are scurrying for uh, shelter before it gets too bad. So the only ones that are out are those that don't care that it's that hot. So these would be tieflings, uh, certain dragonborn. We're, uh, yeah, particularly then, mm-hmm. those who probably should be out of the heat, but aren't taking the opportunity to get out of it because gotcha. they have to endure it for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like they're mm-hmm. myrrh hunting. Right. There are a... Um, you encounter a fire ganasi um, mm. at, at uh, in the uh, between the uh, orc quarter and the uh, the merchant square. Resident of Trade Town themselves, um, nothing suspicious there. There is a uh, a, uh, a another uh, tiefling that's uh, sort of new to town. Don't recognize uh, this particular individual. Um, doesn't seem to be trying to get anywhere uh, in a hurry. And uh, and there is a, a group of sort of very, um, they're very draconic orcs, is how you would sort of think of them. I like that. That, that have a very, uh, they are from the north of here uh, and have the same kind of scarification and, and uh, body modifications that the other northerners who arrive here have, except mm. theirs are even more pronounced and extreme. Um, Three of them are hanging around and and don't seem to to pay much attention to uh, to you. All right. Well, there's a. I guess if this was old D and D, we'd just start banging two pieces of metal till a wandering monster showed up, mm-hmm. and then we'd declare ourselves the heroes of Trade Town. Um, well, oh, I guess. True. Yeah. Aren't we all wandering monsters. Well, yeah. 
you know, you're somebody. No, you are. You could have settled down, but you chose to wander, sad boy. Um, you were the one who could have been a keyed encounter, but you stayed a wandering monster. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have. So. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, yeah. I. Gildan has no home here. He's. He doesn't hardly know anybody. So, um, we. I don't want to give up Mer's position, but maybe no one's hunting her after all. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, what I'd like to do is... I wonder if I have any uh, magic that will help me. <laughs> um, uh -oh. We're going to not do nothing. We curse ourselves and die. <laughs> no, um, no, we're... Uh, I don't have any money to try to loosen any lips. There might be nothing going on. It's time for us to go back to Mer. She is not being pursued at all. I am convinced. I'm going to give up my suspicion whether it leads to her death or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. And so Gildan and the 14 servitors head back towards... Uh, Artibus, towards yeah. And I'm going to introduce him to my friends. Yeah. Remember these guys? Mm -hmm. They, they're, you know, you make enough uh, commotion walking through the streets that as you pass through into the foreign quarter, it is uh, both Icky and Ellie uh, recently arrived at Murr's home, uh, noticed them uh, traveling back into deeper into the foreign quarter. Gildan and his fourteen Gildanites. Um, you can follow if you like, or stay at Murr's. It's getting kind of hot out. Uh, yes feeling pretty good where we are and we and i would imagine that both icky and ellie know like yes we saw okay so we saw blue turn small did we know that it was barnabas you like, know that it's nearby you've been there okay. before and and know of, of him and, and where he lives yeah do we know if there are any building like this is like the goblin quarter anyway, because we kind of established that pretty early, um, mm. that it's like really small houses. Do we know if there's any houses that will accommodate like 17 <laughs> medium to large sized people? No, the, there are communal shelters that, that can accommodate that many. Um, yeah. It, yeah. Icky, not, like, yeah. yeah, Icky's been doing the math and don't add up, sis. <laughs> I think I think that Icky will take note of it and where they're going and also note that Mer hasn't returned, but also assume that Gildan and Baloo had it under control since she last saw Mer with Gildan. Mm -hmm. um, if Ellie is prepared to leave, then Icky will take Mer's things to bundle up with to go in the sun. But other than that, Icky's... Um, not super invested in going out. Does Icky have any reason to suspect that people would come to Murr's house looking for her? I mean, most people don't do business during the day. Uh, yeah. And so, yes, Murr has visitors, both, mm -hmm. um, you know, official and unofficial. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time of year, this time of day, you can expect to not be bothered. Okay. Uh, so in that expectation of not being bothered, have we noticed anything strange of anybody lurking outside of Murr's house or anything like that that should not be there in knowing that? Um, ooh, that's a question. So you guys are kind of on a stake, a reverse stakeout kind of Pro it. Probably not like 100% invested in it, but just because we've been to Murr's place before. Gotcha. So. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make me uh, perception yeah. uh, rolls there. No. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> good thing I have. Good thing I'm proficient, cause. <laughs> okay, it's an eighteen. I was 18. like, "Ooh, boy." <laughs> uh, and for uh, Ellie, I'm at a fourteen. Fourteen. You notice the same sort of uh, same sort of things that Gildan did. Uh, a, a few of uh, a few denizens of Trade Town who are not affected by the heat still sticking around the streets and market quarter there. None mm -hmm. of them paying a special attention to, to Murr's house or anything. Um, and the only thing that I guess catches your eye is that the, the warden is, the, the, those wardens that are sort of along the, uh, the docks there, <laughs> occasionally see them. They're, they're of course covered head to toe uh, to uh, avoid the heat, but 
they're still out and about, but yeah. they don't seem to be paying special attention to Murr's place. Yeah. Are okay. they hanging out like on the same spot, or are they like going back and forth and like stopping near your house? It looks like they're making a patrol. It's just that Murr's house is within sight of the market square, so it's it's sort of like right there. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look outside, and then if they see me, I'll wave. But if not, I'll just make weird eye contact and awkward. <laughs> so, so you're hanging the out back the head. outside. <laughs> if they see you, you're gonna kind of like wave. Um, I don't know. Let's see if they see you. Um, yeah, it does look like they spot you across the, uh, the square, and I mean, they look in your general direction. Uh, and see that you're uh, that you're out, uh, you know, poking your head out. Hmm. Is it the guy that was shook to meet me? Yeah, it seems like it. it. Seems like that same pair. And since I can't really see his face, it's just like his body language that he just went like this, right? Yeah. No good. No good. In that case, we'll. Ha- uh, I think Icky would prefer to hang out inside of the house, and I assume Mur probably has a, like at least an upstairs and balconies and stuff. Something that per, that uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Befits her status. So probably a higher house than most places. So it would probably be a really good lookout spot, just because Mur is, even if she wouldn't admit it, hella paranoid. Oh, she is one of the most paranoid people I've ever played. <laughs> so she could like ridiculous. snipe somebody from across town. She absolutely will. <laughs> I, I do like to think that as well. That, that Murr's house is, is some sort of uh, strategic like balconies range. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Icky Icky will do what Icky typically does when Icky's inside of a house and hang out near a balcony as near as she can get without burning up in the sun. Just watch people. People just, watch. Just watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, Back at Barnabas's. Uh, when, how long does Baloo stick around as a roach? Uh, well, he's going to have a little slap fight with Haggle, but really, he was he's just going to lose. Yeah, that hag does a lot of damage. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a slap fight. It hits for five points. You are s- that hag only has eight hours of existence, and it fights fiercely for every second of that eight hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It inflicts uh, pain, whether through its shrill, shrieking voice, its tiny uh, bludgeoned <laughs> fists. Um, I, I I might actually just destroy it and, and just, like, to spite you and then turn back into a roach. Well, the next time it gets summoned, it gets it's going to tell on you. That's good. That's good. I'm fine uh, with it. Baloo and the hag are having a, a, a bit of a tiff, um, a, a bit of a wrestle. Uh, are you staying a roach the entire time? Uh, if I can, yeah. I, 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 I cr- yeah, how long is a roach, and what's his armor class? Well, uh, yeah. I'm gonna crawl up a wall and use my circle to blasting on you. <laughs> it's a little roach eye. You're not gonna be able to because you're a little roach. <laughs> I, it's it's canon. That's true. His his cyber eye is present in all. Oh that. yeah, his cyber eye. I forgot. That's the yeah. circle of blasting. Yeah. So you're gonna set off a roach cyber eye. You're gonna eye. set that off in Barnabas's house. Sure. <laughs> If, if, if we're gonna this play is this the game, cool, this is the best temperature his house has been in months. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is this this is. <laughs> I like how this is a knife fight between Cyril, <laughs> the tiny servant, and yes, it is. Uh, let's bring this down to die rolls. Uh, first off, <laughs> I want to see who goes first between the hag puppet <laughs> and Luke. Okay. Uh, Roach has <laughs> probably got a, a at least a plus one to his dex. I got an eight. Uh, uh, I got a natural 20. All right. All right. He's going first. Blue goes first. Okay. What? Uh, what is it? Is it two rays or three? It's three rays, 2d6 each. It's three rays. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, AC 15. AC 15. Okay. I hit with two. 2d6 each? Yes. Okay. Uh, five fire... Can't I reroll fire damage? Uh, I do. I think if elemental add up, you can uh, reroll fire damage. Okay. I want to double check, but I think that's something you can do. Maybe yeah. I'm making that. We have a lot of. Well, I, uh, you know, um, 
I think it's like North Fire Resistance, but there might be one sure. other thing. That's right. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll me for your go ahead and roll me damage for a second. We'll look it up in a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so seven damage, and then I'll reroll that first one. So seven damage, and then eight damage. Do I get a deck save or any of that stuff? Just an attack roll. Uh, attack, it's an attack roll. Uh, what do you get to hit? Uh, I beat your fifteen. Ow. No, two rays. Yeah, you killed you killed Haggle. Yes, Haggle's gone. Oh, thank goodness! I just oh. And Gildan knows this. Good. He can feel when the magic leaves him, and now he's gonna assume that there's danger back at Barnabas's. <laughs> All right. Okay. I crawl behind a bookshelf. You guys have about a minute before Gildan arrives, assuming danger with a posse of fourteen. Uh, well, the servitors can't enter, so it's just, they just go thunk, against the outside of the hut. Like it's technically <laughs> Gildan true. can't either. You I think can Jeremy enter and re-enter as long as you were in the area when the spell was cast. I think just... Jeremy Crawford made a ruling about that though, because people were going in and out. I think that's fine. They were walking out, shooting arrows, then walking back in. That's a legit. I mistake. know. I know what it says. Yeah. Mm. Um, I just can't leave. Yeah, you can't I, leave right his bells. I didn't know you went to law school. Was when it was cast. I didn't know you went to law school. Great. Then re-enter. Um, I don't care if you use it to shoot arrows out of and the like. It is a third. Now, if you want to say Gildan can go in, and we want to establish that, Gildan goes in. But when his servitors do- can't, he's going to be like, "All right, tear this house down." No, he's not going to. <laughs> All right, he's already dead. Woo. So they're going to have to stay outside. Um, and isn't it? Yeah. Outside. They've got coverings on, and there are awnings and things like that. There is shade if you. Yeah, if you... yeah, yeah. So, so Gideon's like, Mer, what's what's going on in here? Oh, Wait. well, you see. Where's Haggle? Uh, oh, Haggle got into a slap fight with a roach with a mechanical glowing red eye that shoots fire <laughs> from it. Can you believe so, it? Oddly familiar. Very specific. <laughs> I like mm. just like I'm sitting there, um, maybe even with like a hookah pipe, just mm-hmm. kind of like and I just use like my heel of my shoe to kind of like slide the bookcase. You've got, out. you've got, you've got a hookah pipe. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna touch that thing and turn it into a tiny servant. <laughs> no, I stick it the back in my bag of. <coughs> <coughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. I catch the bag of holding and it grows arms and legs. I Walk off now. Spell. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a hook. I just like slide the bookshelf out, like, and there's a little roach on the wall. Okay. <laughs> so Gildan arrives. It's a big, chaotic. There's drama. Yeah. Baloo is a, a, a roach uh, still around. Barnabas is there. He seems not oh, annoyed, but just sort of like, what is going on, Gildan's? Who's outside my door? Did you find anything? My children are outside your door. I wanted to introduce you to them. Uh, are these your servitors that you took in the desert? Well, they are the Gildanites. They are my family. Ah. Uh, mm. Yes. You well, would be interested in studying them. I, and with them. Perhaps not. I... Gildan, I, I'm afraid that you have spent too much time out in the Yellow Wastes. There's The sun has baked your mind. You know, no one brought this <laughs> up when I was baking out there for 20 years, Barnabas. It takes us a minute or two longer to burn the toast. Uh, it's... <laughs> Murr does not seem to think that she has no enemies that she's not already aware of, and yeah, I th- you believe you said it was wardens. That is what they appeared as. Could you describe them to me? I believe now that it is beautiful peak heat of day, I might go out and look for them. Good teeth, nice smell, class X all the way. Oh, okay, that was very descriptive. All right, I will go look for them. That was Homer Simpson's description of God in that one episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure. I, I feel like some people in here, looks at the roach, looks at Gildan, have some things that they could discuss. I will be interrogating some people. Farewell. And I just saunter on out. And I, I assume it's been longer than an hour, so my disguised self is gone. You know that that scene in a Christmas story when like the mom had broken the lamp and the dad yes. 
Yes. You saw the clue on purpose. That's what's going to go down with Haggle and Blue right here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, you, do you resummon Haggle? We're always jealous. Uh, well, I can make a new one, but it won't be the same. It's not the it same. won't be the same. It's not the same. I destroyed um, it. I that's destroyed very true. It. Uh, and they never so, cast that spell again. So Baloo and Gilder are going to have a, a, <laughs> some time alone inside the uh, the tiny hut. Finally. Right. Yeah, well, I leave and the hut goes away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just in Barnabas' sitting room. In comes uh, the servitors, weapons drawn. <laughs> Mer leaves. Uh, and I'm sending the servitors with her. Servitors, go with Mer. Okay. All right. Sweet out of line. Sweet uh, out of line. Oh, can I lose them? You can try. Yeah. Um, I do not can't deal with that. This is Mer's <laughs> worst day. She's All right. not going to... Uh, 18 stealth. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I, I think mean, I could just turn invisible, but I, that's that's something I. That's true. That's true. <clears throat> oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lead them to my house. Mm -hmm. This is my house. Please wait outside the moment. I'm gonna uh, come in, see all my food has been eaten. Um, <laughs> uh, tell Icky and Ellie. Oh, I'm <coughs> glad you are here out of the heat of the day. I am. Uh, Curious. Did you happen to spot anyone observing me, staring at me, watching me in the marketplace? Bl uh, Gildan seems to think that people are after me. Uh, kind of. There was this. Uh, I think it was a hobgoblin. Yes. But I went to go talk to him, and he just said, "Thank you for helping build stuff and whatnot." Hmm. And then he got weird in the face, and he left. Because Icky said something about mating, and I don't know what that means. I look- I give Icky, like, an approving nod. Icky meets it back. They're- they're Ellie's two moms, so it's <laughs> <Yes>. like- <laughs> It's like the parent telepathy, where it's like, yeah. Mm hmm It would not have been suitable. Now, I do believe that I have some wardens to interrogate. I will be back, uh, <laughs> and let you know how it went after heat of day. So I am not back by the time uh, heat of day is in, but you should probably look for me. <coughs> and I'm just gonna... like smile before she leaves and be, will we kill them? Oh, if we have. Yes. Depends on what they've done. Uh, and she's just, not Mer's just gonna change real quick uh, into something that shows her lack of intimidation by this heat. So she's mm -hmm. like, just going out and she's gonna kind of like pull her hair up you know, so it's not like covering her. And she's gonna get um like a hairpin, dip it in some poison, carefully insert it. All right, I think I'm ready. And she's gonna go off warden hunting. All right. She's gonna look for a, a hobgoblin specifically first. Okay. Um, that do, do Ellie and Mer like let them know what let Mer know what you've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I just told her about. I'll only tell her about the incident of when I went to go talk to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. If so. Icky knows that his name is Bash, then she will say so. But if okay. Icky does not know that, then she won't. Would I know Bash? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll, look, I'll look for him. And she'll also, like, since Ellie did wave at him, she'll also, I'm sure they have an idea of what his route has been for patrol. Mm -hmm. And Murr would know whether or not that was a normal patrol for him. Oh, I'm sure. yeah, I would. I'm pretty much sure. Icky am, wouldn't, wouldn't. I have know management. That. Right, right. Uh, you know that they're supposed to. You know that they're supposed to patrol the, mm -hmm. uh, the piers. And that, that Bash and uh, the. You know that Bash is sort of. Uh, partner's probably the closest uh, word. Gramog. Are, they're supposed to patrol the piers, and if there's nothing, no activity there to, um, you know, to seek shelter during the middle of the day, and, and otherwise, then they're not really supposed to leave. <coughs> uh, Interesting. Acting out of order. Yeah, I, she kind of, like, cracks her knuckles. This is, like, hunting some people who are maybe hunting her has put her in a little bit of a better mood. 
-hmm. or at least has redirected that negative energy into a focused funnel and she's gonna basically skip and saunter out the door she's told the servitors to wait outside so she's gonna go invisible like go out balcony side <laughs> and then go look for uh, Bash and Ramug. Alright. Um, you don't have to go far mm -hmm. before you um, you you find the pair of them. Okay. And there there's no one out on the piers like this. Mm -hmm. Most most of the boats have been uh, moored, and their their coverings put on them. And the uh, the merchants and river traders that use them have sought shelter in the communal uh, dugouts and the like. But there they are. They're in there coverings sort of walking uh, still in the shade mm -hmm. and you know they're walking around looks like they're headed back towards the uh the market square okay uh i'm gonna like i want to sneak up and see if they're talking about anything because i'm invisible right give me a stealth roll okay and i have advantage because i'm invisible right yeah yeah And 22. Yeah. There is, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of chatting. Sort of, <coughs> I don't really think there was a lot of stuff that's going to get caught nowadays. Blah, blah. Yeah, they're just sort of talking shop about mm -hmm. uh, about being low ranking wardens. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're gonna, if they go down like an alley to like go back towards the main section, Mer is going to kind of step right between the two of them. Yeah. Like, go on invisible and have her arm around each one. Because <laughs> <All right. laughs> that, that doesn't scare the shit out of them, I don't know. <laughs> like when your manager, like, goes yeah. on you? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. um, they both freak. Uh, Mer sort of appears between the two of them, arm, arm around each of them. They, one of them has an honest-to-goodness scream. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to attempt. Uh, and the other ah! one, without really thinking about it, uh, uh, you can see, you can feel sort of reaching for a weapon uh, of some kind, thinking that he's under attack. Well, now, boys, how is your patrol going? Uneventful, it would seem. <clears throat> uh, yes, ma'am. Mm. Uneventful. I see. Well, why don't you tell me about your day <coughs> so far? I believe I saw you in the marketplace. Uh, perhaps it is a bit difficult to keep one's eyes to themselves these days? Uh, and Bash, that, uh, that's what he, uh, <clears throat> no, no, no ma'am, I, I just, uh, I, 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 I don't really, um, uh, he just stammers. <laughs> uh <-huh. clears> I'm sorry, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know, people pay good money for that kind of looking. However, I believe that that was not the kind of looking you were doing. And I'm gonna get like real close with a serious face. <laughs> uh, I, Why are you watching me? He. Uh... I'll make I'll make an intimidation check if you want. Yeah. Go ahead and give me one. He's not alone, so I can't make him terrified, but right. I'm still, still fairly intimidating. <laughs> Natural 20! Oh my god. Right. So 28? 28 for the intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scary as fuck. I, 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 Bash just loses it. It's composure. Um, I, I, man, I, I, I don't understand why why you, you keep uh, that 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 prophet that came in to his what's his name I don't you know with the with the with servitors like I just why do you I don't know why you put up with him like and he just sort of seems like a, he like he's not a not like confessional. Mm -hmm. But just a like I'm so scared of my boss. And, uh huh. And yeah, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna insight check now. him because she's again ridiculously paranoid. Sure. Um, that's gonna be a, t a dirty twenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mer's paranoia. <laughs> right. I mean, 
seems to be telling the truth. Okay. His question seems true. Okay. But body language says deflection. Hmm. Well, let's say, I believe you know the answer to that question. He proved quite valuable when it came to facing off the pyramid and servitors. He got rid of most of the servitors. He is a wanderer of the waste and has knowledge that could be beneficial to the wardens. He is an asset, uh, not necessarily an ally, but an asset. However, I believe that there is something else you are not telling me. And at this point, she's just gonna kind of like casually just pop her knuckles and mm. uh, kind of like l- like lean against the wall, start like pulling out her hair a little bit, and then Gr- messing with the. <laughs> Gromuk has been trying to distance himself from this, mm-hmm. uh, and I don't want you to leave either. Oh. I sense okay. you are involved. <clears throat> if you would like to uh, loosen your friend's tongue, you are more than welcome to. Because if he doesn't answer my questions to my satisfaction, you're next. Uh, uh, it's just, uh, it's just the you know, there's um, uh, we we know, ma'am. There's a lot of rumors and. You know, it just seems seems weird. You know, what what kind of rumors? I love rumors. I am a bard. They believe. I mean, I, I I I'm pretty. I don't. You know, I don't. I don't really go in for a lot of it. I just hear it. You know, I and, mm. and as he sort of he's trying to get, keep as far away from me. <laughs> uh huh. Um, <clears throat> you know, just people. I, I think people are really broken up about about all the people we lost. You know, and uh, you know, I, I I don't really I, I don't really spread anything. Mm. Uh, you don't really spread anything, but you keep your ears open. Please, aren't you supposed to report to your superiors? Tell me, what do these rumors say? <clears throat> I mean, I I don't want to get involved. They're just you know, and it he... seems you already are. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> And you can see, like, just the the, the sort of reflection in in their <laughs> slip visors as they kind of mm-hmm. try to uh, try to get themselves out of this situation. Uh-huh. I, I, you know, I, I we the rumors are, and I'm just gonna like take like shrug off the shell, but oh, it's so comfortable outside today. You know, you guys were <laughs> in that pyramid for a long time, and then and then. People just want to know what happened, and uh, and I, I think that you know that there's just a lot of questions, ma'am, about what happened. Mm. From who? Seeing as how you are so uninvolved in these rumors, I thought you would be the ones asking these questions. No, 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 ma'am. Mm. I, I I don't remember who told me. Mm. Um, I I just don't. <laughs> And then ba- at that point, Bash chimes back in. Yeah, I, 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 I don't remember as well. <clears throat> don't remember. <coughs> the bad memories. Perhaps, perhaps I could do something to jog your memory then. They seem very, very um, not into that. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of put my arm around Bash, kind of like, because he's all wrapped up, kind of just fiddle with the edge of one of his wrappings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I'm going to cast Suggestion on him. Okay. And I'm going to say... Dress no! <laughs> that was my strategy. But I'm going to say... <laughs> He'll cause harm to himself, though. He might why don't... Have. Yes, why don't you tell me... Like, th- that's mostly to freak out his friend. Oh, um, why don't you tell me everything about these rumors. Don't you think it would be nice just to, to get it off your chest and resume your patrols? Just tell me, tell me about these rumors and who's spreading them. Who has these questions? What's your DC? Uh, my DC is a 16. You can feel uh, the subtle magic of your spell take hold. And um, this is Bash. This is Bash, yeah. Bash, uh, man, I, I, I really don't remember. Um, it was, it, I, it was a few weeks ago I heard the rumors, but mm. I, like, where, I, where did you hear the rumors? 
Um, it was, and you see him like a, a, a sort of a confusion. Yeah, like he's having a hard time remembering, as if maybe yeah. someone kind of wiped the memory. Seems that way. Okay, that's really interesting to me. Sorry, oh. ma'am, I, I just don't remember. Hmm. I believe you. However, both of you, I would love if that you hear, hear any more rumors from people <coughs> that you come and report to me immediately as to who might be causing them, because you are just been so honest and forthright with me. I feel like such honesty should be rewarded. Uh, I'm gonna give each of them like uh, a gold piece. Okay. Like you guys have been so good at your patrols. I appreciate your forthrightness and honesty. Even if it did take you a bit long to get there, I'm a very forgiving leader. And I want everyone to be happy and rumors tend to not make people happy. <clears throat> so if you could be so wonderful as to report to me when you hear any more, I would be most happy and would be more than willing to reward you for such information in any way I can. Uh, give me a persuasion check with advantage. Okay, okay. Carrot in the stick. Okay, uh, I believe that is a persuasion. That's going to be a 27. Well, this 16. All right. Um, they take the gold. Mm -hmm. Away in in in, uh, in their belt pouches and the like. We can't have dissension amongst the wardens now, can we? Uh, no, ma'am. We really yeah. can't. I, I I'm really sorry about this. I, I don't know what I, I don't know what came over us. It is it is fine. And she's gonna kind of pat them each on the shoulder. Um, maybe like offer them a sip of wine from her flask to cool off, and then stalk back to her house. <laughs> Okay. She doesn't uh, even worry about stealthing. Like the wardens are just gonna see, or, like the servitors are just gonna see her walk back, like they saw her enter. Now she's entering again. Now she's there. Oh uh, man. So Ellie and and Icky see Mer uh, return. I'd like to give you guys a chance to sort of uh, catch up a bit, and then we'll finish out with Baloo and Delta. So uh, Mer is coming back to her house, stalking through the. Yes. Anyway, um, Mer, are you, you just like walk through the servitors? Yeah. Okay. Good job. You're doing very great. Just keep on the silence and the standing. And uh... they're really noisy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> when left to their own devices, they just chatter like constant. Like they just like a bunch of people waiting around for a movie. <coughs> like just talk, 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 um, and it's like both Icky and Ellie have been uh, overhearing it the entire time. They talk about just the most inane, just whatever random So thought. tempted to cast silence on them. <laughs> I hope they've been <laughs> dropping like nine months or three months of like hot gossip about Gil. Oh yeah, for some money. <laughs> now that he's not here, let's talk all about him. <laughs> My gosh, you see that? It's weird that the master... Yeah. <laughs> He's not like interested in any of it because she doesn't understand guile, but it's probably it's probably funny. <laughs> it's, uh, it's more just sort of the daily embarrassments of living close to someone. But Gildan seems difficult to embarrass. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's like a nudist colony or something. Like whatever's going on in there. Right. Uh, so Mer arrives back home with Ellie. And so what happened? Well, I asked them a few questions I found the two you spoke of. I asked uh, them some questions while they were on control. They were most forthcoming with the information. It seems that there have been some rumors spread about about our time spent in the pyramid, My and goodness. they could not tell me who started these rumors or where they heard them, because I, I believe that their minds have been tampered with, which is something interesting magic that someone is employing which leads me to believe that this might not be someone inside the wardens who is starting it or 
someone quite powerful at the moment. They, they literally physically could not remember. It's as if it was just gone. Hmm. Mindfuckery is kind of my thing yeah. if it comes down to it, so I <laughs> tend to be able to recognize it. Is there any way you could trace it? Or any way you could trace it back? Unfortunately, it is a bit difficult to trace something that is not exactly there. Mm. This is if you had, if you were putting together a puzzle, and a piece was missing, it's hard to tell who took that piece. But if these rumors are circulating only within the wardens, then perhaps someone within the wardens is starting this. I will have to delve deeper to see where this is originating. Do you want us to investigate? Icky and I are very good at that. I'm sure you are. Just keep your eyes open for, and the ears open for rumors. Don't, yeah. don't dig too deep. They will become suspicious. Okay. We can kill them. We can uh, certainly do that as well. Now? Um, I asked those two to bring me any information if they hear more rumors. So they are kind of scouts for now, but if they bring back appropriate information, then yes, we will definitely do some arguing. Icky, like, focuses on that word appropriate for a minute, and then she, like, does, like, that telepathic mom bombed eye with Murrigan, where it's like, but we will kill him if he, like, looks at Ellie. Like, <laughs> like, appropriate. Like, that's the focus that she takes. <laughs> <laughs> why, are your, why are your eyes weird? Is, does that, is that because we need to keep our eyes open? And she yes. does, like, weird eye thing? Yes, dear. That is, you need to keep your eyes and ears open. Icky just like awkwardly musses the back of her hair and just like, ah, yes, my dumb, soft child. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So Ellie, Icky, and Murr uh, (laughs) have a ladies' night. night. Classic party split. Yeah. I also left the Blue and Gildan to speak with each other, so I think we should leave them alone for a while. Yeah. They just sit there and throw snacks at the servitors. <laughs> They're jumping like seals. For our, for it's just like, uh. <laughs> We're on the balcony. Just, it's awesome. Mer, Mer, Mer lays out her like beach towel on the balcony and catches mm-hmm. some rays. I imagine, I imagine that Ellie is teaching Icky how to read, but they've picked up all of uh, Mer's smutty novels. <laughs> So, like, Icky doesn't understand them in succession, and Ellie doesn't understand them at all, so they're just, like, reading smutty novels one word at a time. Yeah, I'll, I'll help them with the reading lessons. Then yeah. Over. Well, all of this is going on. Well, why? Oh, no, th- not this one. This one is much better for beginners. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures are really nice. Um, Barking <laughs> ropes of... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there is a... Uh, Gal's night or Gal's day in at the uh, the Mur Estate, and with Barnabas, who's very quickly growing uh, tired of it, tired of his new house <laughs> guests, uh, but custom demands that he lets them stay through the heat. At least I got Baloo, the servitors away from. Me. Right, Baloo and yeah. Gildan uh, find themselves otherwise uh, alone there. Hmm. Fellow Roach, right? Yeah, you're still uh, out. Yeah, he's he's kind of playing silent trade, man. But at least he's out. You're yeah. not wild shape anymore. If no, 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 I'm I'm still wild shape. I'm just I'm just like oh, also not saying. Um, I see. Or ham. Well, <laughs> um, well, obviously, Mer referred to me needing to talk to Barnabas because that's who she motioned to. She would not motion to an insect. So, uh, insect with a glowing red insect eye that I pointed at. <laughs> many, many insects have glowing red eyes here. In the not world. one and the other one not. Though. That's All true. Right. Mm. You see me, I think. Mm. <laughs> Thinking about casting silence on them and leaving. <laughs> or blindness and deafness. Bestow curse, maybe. Mm. And the fight will continue. Hurt me. Hurt me. Mm-hmm. Right? Baloo, right. is that you? Are you a roach? It's a good look for you. I'll, I will take 
I was like a Twitch. I will, I will Twitch. Uh, not the streaming service, but the but the antenna. Ah, uh -huh. you said the thing. I said the thing. Sponsored, not sponsored. Yeah. Not so, sponsored. Blue's still giving Gildan the silent treatment. Uh, yeah, at, at this point, he's looking. He's looking to get something from from Gildan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Barnabas looks long. <laughs> to, to sure. Something. <clears throat> Barnabas, are you familiar with this roach? Do you know who he is? Yeah. yeah. Marwin so, just called him Baloo the whole yeah. time. <laughs> Assuming this is uh, Baloo. <laughs> Baloo balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> Is there a problem, Gildan, with the... It's like you and Blue are friends. Chums. I thought so, too. Oh. Well, you should probably just uh, work it out, then. All right. Let's work it out. What do you want from me, Baloo? Uh, Baloo will, uh, again, as a roach, turn around. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, what am I going to do to him? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Barnabas walks out of the room. He's and squished and he turns back into a That's true. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And I've come close to doing that. Um, are the pieces of my hag in the room? Yeah, the hag puppets. Mer too. almost did it before she left. Like, kick the bookcase aside, squish balloon. Yeah. <laughs> Smack. Um, Ouch. what's what's in this what's in this room? This room is uh, is um, Barnabas's sitting room. There are like there's like a low sort of bench or couch that kind of runs along two walls. Uh, that offers plenty of seating room and a low table in it. Otherwise, there's like sitting pillows and uh, and things like that. There's maybe like one of those pops on basket chairs uh, or something. Um, yeah, it's sort of like a comfy chill out room that Barnabas has. Um, mm -hmm. And there is sort of uh, the signs of arcane um, goings on. Hmm. I need a I need Baloo to make a wisdom saving throw DC fourteen. All right. Uh, roll a natural fourteen plus. So. Well, we trying to do? Then. I was gonna try to charm him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Consent, buddy. I know. I'm horrible. Bully goblin. Goblin, goblin bully. bully. <laughs> goblin bully. <laughs> I don't have any much many tricks up my sleeve. I mean, I'm running out of spell is, slots. I'm yeah. the talker. <laughs> is it like is it apparent that you cast a spell? Yeah, or? you know I tried. Uh huh. You're offended by it. I'm I'm gonna turn into blue and gasp. <gasps> hey, my friend. I, I'm going to turn into blue and gasp. Okay. And How you dare you? Man. So. I do what I want. I, I cross my giant arms. Yeah. One of them has a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, one of them has a tattoo. It's, it's tattoo. true. Gildan. Uh, Gildan's big bow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see it. Mm-hmm. Come here, you big lug. And I hold my arms out to hug him. Full tears in my goblin eyes. I've missed him. I shake my head at him. Oh! Scorn! Scorn. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I hear you've been digging. I have. What for? I wanted a place to stay. Why did you not come with me? I don't want to be a part of your cult. I'm it's not, not a cult. It is I, a religion. It I'm not one of your acolytes. No, you're not. You can come visit me there if you want. I don't want to. I guess we won't see each other again. Uh, well, we're both committed to the series, so we're probably going to have to. Um, <laughs> we got art and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you know, 
This is Josh's way of just being like, I guess I quit. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's like, hey, <laughs> no, it's Grant's, Grant's fault. Um, you guys are the ones that, that dug this hole for yourselves. This series we will, ended. We will, we, will, we will come visit the servitors and I, and we will pay homage to you, and I will teach them of you, and they will learn of your ways, and they will learn to love you as I love you. There, I said it for the first time. Of course I love you. I've always loved you. I don't know. My heart. It's hard to tell sometimes, Gilda. I walk a lonely path, and I don't always do the right things. I've been described as a cold goblin, a stern goblin. You were. Always corrupt me and that burn my brain. But gosh darn it, I do the best I can. If you weren't so goblin-y, I don't know. I don't know if I'd put up with it. Oh, you are but a goblinoid yourself. You cannot deny it. No. You change from shape here and there, try to cast it off, but I know what you are. We are but one. One goblin race. We are. You should embrace your beauty. Your natural blue beauty. I know I'm beautiful. That's not the point. You don't always appear. All right. All right. And then I'll, I'll, I'll go for the hug. I lean in for the kiss. Oh, it's returned. So <laughs> the, the yes. next. The next question is, are we going to have makeup it's sex in Barnabas' house? Well, Barnabas has given you the word. <laughs> uh, we cast silence. No doors. We cast silence. It's violent. Wall to wall. We scatter. <laughs> and then yeah. Icky burrows up out of the ground and goes back down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's only big enough for like a goblin to live in. <laughs> so like the ceilings are really low. Yeah, yeah, Baloo's like <laughs> the ceiling collapses. His leg kicks out the back. There's people. It's scolding for the fire. Yeah, for, it's like trying, to, it's like trying to get it on in a refrigerator box or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's something like a bathroom stall Baloo's trying to so keep the door shut like... with his foot. <laughs> I'm considered one size larger. Balloon's like <laughs> trying to have sex in a doghouse. Yeah. <laughs> He's like in a pet carrier. Yeah, yeah. What and a beautiful and tender right moment what as our two and as our two party members finally consummate their. Uh, their oh, game. we're closing the veil. You're closing yeah. this veil. Yeah. Yeah. We're closing uh, that veil. Should learn all about on this week's uh, WebDM episode. Um, there is a special uh, guest, Grant and Josh. <laughs> yeah, we brought we puppets to <laughs> show and explore. We're gonna, we're gonna this is so appropriate. This is inappropriate. <laughs> so, jokes are always appropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not. <laughs> Mur is on her balcony, smoking, and just enjoying. Classical rays of the. the, the I, I got to sow some terror today. It's much improved my mood. Yeah, just like soaking it in. You're you're, you're working it's, off. I can still feel it emanating up from the streets. <laughs> You've been out there for a while now, uh, and let's see. I'd like the three of you to roll a, a, to roll me perception. Just tell me who gets the highest. That's all I want to know. <coughs> got a 23 that's oh, not that good <laughs> so oh, even though like I think I think that she and Ellie pulled out a, a gildo bald and book and she's <laughs> like no I don't I I don't oh that one is it's still in progress I have not finished it yet I plan on publishing soon <laughs> it is a uh, part of the trade uh, no, here here I have this one I don't it's want it <laughs> the Karma Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of pictures that, that might help with your the reading, so you can reference. Why, why are they hugging weird? I will explain it one day, but not today. Okay. It's like, interest is now waning. It's just like, <laughs> my mouth tastes I also bad. have this book on um, <laughs> mushrooms, if you are more interested in this. 
You will put this up. one's on poisonous plants. Oh, this yeah. one's on devil's. This is a devil hierarchy over there in hell. Nikki's looking over the balcony, like, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got, I got a nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. As Iggy's sort of like rolling her eyes at sort of the the, the literature that uh, Ever has available. She sees a group of wardens crossing the courtyard. Five of them. At their head, the warden Ishtar, making uh, their way straight for Merce Town Merce uh, Townhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, that's oh, what we're going to I shoot her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that all if there's no witnesses, they can't intimidate me, and I will take charge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was uh, like, there's like at least 19 witnesses. There. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to kill them all. The server oh will defend you. They all have to die. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> got a good run. That's, yeah, uh, all... I think I can and I like to keep it quiet. That's they attacked me first. Did you not see the arrow miss? It's right here. It's like the one arrow that's different than Murr's. The Murr just keeps on her to plant as a one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, we'll have to figure out next week uh, what happens in the adventures as Mur, the College of Whispers Bard, finds herself at the center of a smear campaign of some kind. Um, and the party reunited, finally. Both, well, you get the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Josh, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Um, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, doing pretty good. Um, I think we've made some great headway. Uh, sure. We had some conflict, got a little bit of PvP. A little bit of PvP, sure. Um, digging it. A little bit of P2P. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, like, wow. Yeah. yeah, took it there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, feeling good. You guys check me out on Twitter and on Twitch. I'm now streaming almost every day um, uh, at Beer for Charity on Twitter. Right. I can think. And then, you know, Twitch, da, 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 TV, group charity. Come watch me draw things. I'm, in fact, I'm drawing a samurai. I'm working on a samurai right after this for a uh, commission. So, uh, yeah, come check me out. Well, there you go. Excellent. Anna, how are you? How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing yes. great. I'm trying to get some mental images out of my head. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What is? Um, but I missed you guys. I had a great time today. And Ellie learned a lot, which is pretty neat, you know. Yeah, a lot for her in she, one day. So she could have learned more. Yeah, uh, you know, take it slow. It's fine. Everything's fine. But you guys can find me online somewhere, places uh, like Twitch uh, as Cyborg Pizza or Twitter as Anna B Photo. I'm also part of a podcast called Wonder Quest. If you haven't caught up, uh do it because stuff is happening mm -hmm. uh, anyway yeah that's how i feel <laughs> <laughs> i'm loving the uh sassy ellie um uh, yeah. as, as well as shook bash hopefully he'll stick around for a while shook bash or shook bash he, yeah <laughs> ellie's first boyfriend yeah. yeah we never know there you no go. i have a boyfriend for you he's just late Ellie's last boyfriend. <laughs> uh, who knows? Love springs eternal in the wastelands of Lamb Twitch Rivers. TK, how are you doing? How's it going? It's me. It's TK. Um, I'm doing pretty well. We had such a, a delightful, heartwarming episode. I have a lot of jokes that I'm going to tell you guys after the cameras go off because we have to keep our rating. Um, sure, sure. <laughs> the appearance. But, uh, yeah, had a great time. I write spooky stories on the internet. Um, you can find them at TK Joins the Fray on Twitter. You can find them at tkjwrites.com. Um, when I'm not here, I am hanging out on Sundays on the D&D Twitch channel with Hell's Bells. And next week, I'm hoping to have a really fun announcement for everybody, possibly about hanging out with other people on other days of the week, doing whatever. Okay, that's it. That's all I had to say. Bye. Woo. Excellent. Lindy. Hi. Uh, tonight was super fun. Um, I, I'm loving the, the intrigue and Mer. 
Oh, if it's a smear campaign war, that is something Murr could totally like. Oh, I'm late to the campaign, but don't worry, I'm in it to win it. Like she is, she is ready. She knows uh, that someone is playing some mind games and are racing their tracks, which something Murr's working up to be able to do, but can't quite do yet. So she's she's playing it carefully, but she's intrigued to see what happens. It has a, a making many, many plans of escape should things go poorly. <laughs> but you can find me, um, meanwhile, at Laugh Love Lindy on Twitch and Twitter. I will not be here next week, because I will be on at Gen Con, and it's going to be super fun and awesome. Grant's going to be there, too. Um, but you can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I do all sorts of Dungeons and Dragons, Call of Cthulhu, Firefly RPG, and a uh, little Star Wars RPG stuff. Um, I also play video games. Right now I'm playing through The Witcher 3 on my channel, so check it out. I'm a big nerd, and I have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Grant. Hi. I'm good. I enjoyed the adventure. It's always one of those. It kind of felt like the uh, the uh, paranoia episode. It's one of those things I had to get into the mind of the enemy. And I was like, yeah, they probably won't show up until the sun goes down because <laughs> otherwise they'd fry. Um, but yeah, uh, you can find me on the Twitters at Wise Papa Grant. I'm an independent content creator for tip-top role-playing games. I'm currently consulting for three different companies. You'll see some products coming out before the end of the year. Uh, you you know who these companies are, but I can't say who they are just yet. Um, yeah, uh, and you can catch me here uh, on WebDM's channel on Thursdays. Friday, I run the Queen of Spiders campaign on the Greyhawk channel. Uh, Saturday, I'm actually running two sessions of Vagabonds of Defood in a setting called Dortoka. If you like The Land Between Two Rivers, I highly recommend checking it out. It's kind of this post-apocalyptic uh, Dark Sun-ish world. Um, Sundays, I'm on Money Cook's official Twitch channel. Mondays, I'm on... Uh, actually, uh, I'm nowhere this coming Monday. I think I'm, I'm, I'm in Indianapolis. Uh, and Tuesdays... Um, Tuesdays, I'll be on Unmade Gaming, finishing our Polaris campaign. Uh, and Wednesdays, I'm on Counter kind of Roleplay, Rise of the Dark Side. I know that's kind of a long, rambling thing that I delivered kind of slowly, but I uh, absolutely love this campaign. Uh, it hits all the touchstones of my uh, the things I'm into. I, I just love the world. And uh, thanks for having me on. Excellent, excellent. Um, we are not here next week for Gen Con. We've got Grant and Lindy out and our uh, producer slash tech guru brandon is also going to be out so we are taking next thursday off but when we get back we will have to figure out what it is exactly that is uh, going on in trade town thank you for joining us on uh web and twitch we are here on tuesdays and thursdays at six central and sundays most sundays uh at one on rpgn uh or you can come and check us out uh don't forget to hit up tabletop loot uh, if you need some dice, some shirts, some dice jails, uh, all other manner of uh, role-playing accessories there. Really appreciate you guys uh, coming and hanging out with us while we play through the game and just uh, explore the weird uh, relationships that we're building with these fictional characters in this uh, imaginary world. We appreciate it, and we will see you in two weeks' time on Land Between Two Rivers, and have a great weekend.